<sighs> I've been much since she. It's time for a bit more Elden Ring. I will be hopefully clearing out Landell today. Yeah, got. Big thing is is that I did realize that I can use Hell Shabriri as a buff as an alternative in certain cases to flame grant me strength. Because it does apply to all forms of damage and not just physical and fire. Which could be interesting and useful. Well, we'll see. I'm just gonna keep on going. Back over to Wayndell. Not there. Wanted to go to the subterranean shunning grounds, which means the underground roadside. Okay. Hmm. All right. Got a couple of omens chilling out in here. So, thanks. I. Oh right. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Oh my goodness. These are actually vile. I. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well. Huh. I am actually kind of freaked. Okay. Hmm. So now it feels like that took longer than it did last time. Well, okay. Hmm. How do I want to attack these guys? Luckily, I can try to sneak up, but... Hello. Now you've been alerted. Hmm. Hmm. There we are, and thank you, thank you. Cool, that actually worked quite well. And it's a good way to deal damage to them, but we got a few more guys over in. Can be some Miranda flowers around. What is interesting is that I can't see it right now, but eventually. Okay, yeah, I actually can. That up there will not be accessible until end game. Hmm, so we got a number of omens in here. Okay. Alright. Hmm. In that case... Might honestly be better to try to... Oh, well. Interesting. Try to lure them away, or use some kind of projectile attack. Hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, well. actually, they cannot see from all that far away. That's interesting. Hmm. Just cannot afford to fight them more than one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. It can hardly see. That's the funny thing. Okay. Sneak up behind. And charge that, and... One. Oh, wow, okay. Go in and... Oh, well, I... Okay. That was weird. And... Okay. There we go, and... Oh, oh my goodness. I thought that would be... A lot more damaging than it actually was. But missing the... Special... Missing that critical was weird. I think it was the... Get a stance damage bonus when you hit from full stealth, and that messed me up. Yeah, there we go, and... Can I rush in for the crit? And there we go, cool. But to be fair, I would probably be better off... Using the second skill hit while they were stance broken, and then using a crit. Making use of that damage bonus. Blood soaked manchettes, blood soaked mask. Tell you about bandages soaked through with blood, even though it's gas and cover more inviting than the festering face on beneath. Protection is welcome for the festering arms beneath. Down required ahead. I hear rats. Oh, no horse ahead, and 
Hmm. It's another spot only to get through, and what is interesting is that it lines up decently well with this avenue. Interesting. I suppose that makes some sense, as it is a sewer. Hmm. Well, I'm reaching the point where damage is not. To be honest, I should just always have Golden Veil on. Not really a real reason not to. Be wary of up. Hmm. Freezing grease, freezing two pros materials, infecting frost lasts a short time. Oh, there were imps. That's interesting. Hmm. Serpent arrow, okay. Alright. Come on. Thank you. Hmm. Put the hammer back on. Okay. Put a scarab somewhere. And there we go, and oh, alright, I, okay. Oh my goodness. This is kind of funky. Hmm. Well, let's put that on for a bit of slow, gradual healing. Maybe chug that real quick. Hmm. But the scare of where? No horse ahead? Okay. Getting down there. Have to be a bit closer to make that, closer to the ground to make that drop without dying. Hmm. Well, that. I could probably drop down there. Hmm. Let me think. Oh? Down required ahead. Oh, there you are. Okay. Hmm. Alright. One, two. There we go. Cool. Hmm. This is interesting. To reach down below. Reach down below adequately. Figure it out. Oh, and there you. Okay. Alright. Well, go ahead and fall off. Yeah. And. How can I. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. One, two, three, four. Luckily, the. Stunned from the shock, actually. Dealt with him decently well. Fire grease, and I. Oh, uh, hello. One, two. Honestly, surprised how many imps there are here. Just wanna see. Can't even wield this, and. Wanna see what the moveset is like, and. Yeah, okay, it's the same moveset. Kinda. Uh, the charge heavy is not that much slower anyway, which is interesting. Hmm. Well, I... Let's put on... Destroy it again. Buff up. This is decent as usual. So in that case... Keep up moving. Getting over that way, though. Quite getting up top somehow. Ha. Huh. Maybe actually going down below using some of the drop off points that are available. It's an idea. Somber Smithing Stone 6, not bad. And since he didn't see me, instant death. Okay. I Oh, hello. One, two. It might be slow, but the reach is good. Hmm. This is rather curious. Dropping down over there is probably going to be the white smithing stone seven. Interesting. Do we have a door I might be able to use or don't see. Ah, it links back over here, but okay, and there's an omen there. Some switch. Luckily we do have golden bow on right now. So we thanks and go back in and thank you. Here we are. Let's go for the crit. And Nice. Okay. Thank you. So you always gotta peek around those corners. 
anything there, or this is, oh, Shadow Bait. Interesting, an incantation of two fingers. Assassins around table hold, pill gold shadow, luring foes of human build, attracting aggression. This will motion or crouching, soul effect foes already in a combat state, so that those beguiled by the shadow see within it a hated foe. So this is just a shortcut back to the start of this over here. Okay. Well, alright. Hmm. Not all that much of a shortcut. Okay. But, that does mean <clears throat> wherever this goes next, they're faster, but I don't... can't even tell what it was a shortcut to specifically. Especially since I need to get up there and... Ooh, lag. Not good. Hmm. Where to next and how? Clearly, jumping off is not going to do things here. I think it's gotta be getting down onto that height by going down to a spot where I can survive the drop-off. Hmm. This going to be survivable? I presume this is survivable. It was, albeit a little hard. Have that crayfish down there, which seems like bait for big hammer slam. Hmm. I... It's time to do a bit of buffing then. I... this thing is strong enough that I feel the urge to buff up pretty heavy. Better that than losing a rune arc. Just get, o get over to a spot where I can hit you. Please. I don't... come on, keep moving. Keep moving. Well, I suppose I can just jump it and slam and... oh, okay, alright. Thanks. Interesting. I... okay, can I... There we are. Okay. I... oh my... oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. And... Duh. Okay. Can I... Thanks. And... Okay. Wait. What? Okay. Heal. Maybe heal. And... Duh. Okay. I... Oh, wow. Okay. This is really, really bad. Okay. Can I... Slam and... okay. Hmm. Let's get in a spot where I can hit you. And, okay, cool. Lion's Claw is good as always, and... Wow. You know, I should have tried range of battle for that. Well, alright. Hmm, and... We did not get anything back from that. I get the impression that this is sort of a... well, it's still part of Landell, so yeah, logically we wouldn't be getting anything back from a dead enemy. We wouldn't be getting flash regeneration that way. Somberstone 7? I... alright. What I want is a Somberstone 8. I'm not sure there'll be any here. Probably should have spent... use stuff on the seal instead of the Stupid Star Scourge Greatswords. And Grace Ahead try running. Huh? What is that? Reference to the Nomad somehow? Maybe. Big thing is. Oh, maybe it's because of that fly pile over there that people aren't making a joke about it. I don't know. I hear. Is it gonna be in there? Yeah, it's gonna be in there. That's funny. Thank you. Alright, and this is... Okay, Somberstone 7. Just like the other one. Okay. Hmm. I somehow get the impression that buffing up here might be a good idea. Maybe. Okay. Let's chug. If there's just a random purple item over there, it seems as if... Something might come after me, and... Oh, that's not true. Okay. Just the Moog Shackle. Which would have been nice to use on the other Moog. The real Moog. Golden Magic. People called the Omen. Under strictest confinement. No fate. Vestige of power. Trap the ones blowing Moog on Earth, if only for a time. For a short time. And, oh, this... Wayndale Catacombs, or... By the way, we do have a Grace in here. 
Right. Got about this place. Yes, yeah, so that's Landell Catacombs under Landell, which is pretty mind screwed dungeon. This right down, wire ahead. So is this going to be a way out or ha? Huh? This is is this the catacombs? Uh, enemy and then seek hidden path. Either way, it seems as if down here is going to be another hidden path, and there was absolutely nothing for that. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Alright. Thank you. Guess we can just use the hammer. Stop seller. First of all, I should mark this as well. Hi there, and oh well, it seems that they spawn infinitely. Maybe. Hmm. There we go. Hidden path. Hello there, and oh my goodness. All right. Hmm. Do you get the impression that they're spawning in infinitely? Yeah, because they're not even dropping any runes. So logically, it's going to be a spirit call or snail or something that allows me to escape this. Thank you. Take it down and any fire ahead. Okay. Well, this is... Okay, hello? What's that going to do? I... No, really, what did that lever do? Thanks. One, two, three. Okay. Hmm. Then I will... Oh, okay. Kind of escape that. So, where am I now? Hmm. Put this back on and... Wait, oh, oh, I'm... That was that omen. Okay. Interesting. So did anything else open up now, or am I... That was interesting. Hmm. Maybe I need to go through the Landell Catacombs? In order to... reach the rest of this? Well, actually... That's right, I did completely forget about... This part down here, and this is where a dung eater is, so... Right. That is also an objective I have right now, to unshackle his corporeal flesh. So... Zerving bolus is okay, but I don't presume there would be much rot down here. Thank you, and oh well, alright. Hmm. No, just, oh well, I did not think that would fail to connect. Okay. Hmm. Use that. Hello. One, two. Sparely missing the kill is rather painful. Golden rune and hello, Miranda Flowers. I all right. Hmm. So how much would Black Flame do here? That. Oh my goodness. These guys are rather quite strong. For some reason. Okay, and pass this sewer with all sorts of nasty... Oh, hello, slugs. This is... What kind of demon souls? Okay. Can I hit that? Can I hit any of the ones up here? Can I... Angle different D? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. I wonder what this will lead to. Oh, come on. Ugh. Okay, there's something down here. That's interesting. And hmm, maybe this is gonna be a vertical. I, okay, so I need to input pretty much immediately as I'm jumping. There we are. Okay, let's jump over that. Try to stay out of the way and not fall down. Oh, what? Wait, what? I may be stupid. That was really embarrassing. Camera angle got me. Camera angle got me. 
Oh, come on. Just angle, angle. There we go. Okay. Mm. Didn't want to have to use true ranged for that. Well, this is rather unpleasant. Why are there revenants down here? Really? Okay. And now they now they see me. All right. And oh well. All right. Thanks. I, okay. Hmm. Let's just use blessing spoon again. And oh goodness, those are slow. Slow and gradually speeding up. That is. And, okay. Cool. Just go ahead. Die. How am I going to get out of here then? Okay. There we go. This is so many, all sorts of nastinesses all sealed away down here. I wonder if this is going to link back to the start or what. Come on. Luckily, it's just slugs for now, but still. Okay. I just try to not fall down next time. This reminds me of is actually the sort of Metroid Prime parasites in the. Forget Orpheon at the start. And, okay. I want to jump forward. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Thanks. Alright. Cool. Mm -mm. And. There we are. Oh, we hit two. Alright. Mm -hmm. Slash. Slash. And. Cut. There we are. Cool. More white flash. And. Cool. Mm hmm. So where will this link back around to then? So we killed so many slugs in my way. Imagine if this was where the Moonlight Greatsword was. It's just like a Demon Souls and it was just with a bunch of slugs. That would be alright actually. I wouldn't hate that. A glass shard? You're kidding. Okay. Strip of White Flesh and is this... Yeah, I think this is where I felt down originally, wasn't it? Had to have been. Well, alright, we got a stone sword key for that. This is... It's just like the depths in Dark Souls 1. Well, not as awful. Rainbow Stone Arrow Fletched. Mm -hmm. First off, right. Let's see... Rainbow Stone Arrow, chips a Rainbow Stone, called what shines at the point of impact, watching adds distance to the arrow's flight, and if you don't try to... Oh goodness. You don't fall down, you aren't really playing the game. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go, okay. Now we can fall down here. And Revenants are suffering. Hmm... Yep, we got more Royal Revenants in here. Luckily, we can just chop them down like this. And there we go. Cool. And is that all of them? I oh, well, it's not all of them. Okay. Cool. Thanks. One, two, and... Oh, where... Where... Okay, can I... Oh, my goodness. Thanks. Well, I... Okay. Hmm. Use those neutralizing boluses. Then, how about Blessing Spoon? Yeah. Smithing Stone 7. Go Skullboard 6. Okay. Hmm. How oh, then? Great Violet. How, how am I going to get out of here? Honest to goodness, I, I should just remove Memory of Grace from there. Yeah. I don't use that. I never use it, and if I ended up accidentally using it, it would be disastrous and- oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Go ahead, do your thing. Hmm. So that tunnel is going to be the only way out of here, but and all these corpses, so presumably it wasn't just Omen, but yep, and Ah, uh, suffering. Yep. As one does. One suffers. And, okay, cool. Thank you. And... Let's 
keep on moving. Having a plus 10 weapon definitely helps your strong foe ahead. We're right at- oh, well. Oh, it was just a slog. That was actually pretty funny. Thank you. And... It's actually fast enough. That's a decent anti-air for slugs. Come on, come on, and... Surprise attack of slug. And... Mm -hmm. Right, so this is where we fell down. Okay, first off, right. Didn't expect a shortcut. Maybe you should have. Oh, hi, slugs. It's just... The sheer number of slugs is... Kind of funny. Alright. Thank you. Fireproof dried liver. Strip of white flesh. And then... Let's go down. This is... Way back, or... We have trio. Oh, okay. Alright. Hmm. Maybe then I will... Buff up and... Golden Vow... Flame grant me. Should be decent. Okay. Cool. Hello there, Omen. Rush in and get you and back in for more damage. Uh, Alright, dodge. Okay, thanks. Slam and cool. Okay, critical still would have dealt a bit more damage, but thank you and take you down and Two. There we go. And there should be a couple more then. Oh, well. That's an interesting clip. And now you're coming. Oh, well. And... Oh, alright. That... I didn't know they could climb ladders. It's actually kind of impressive. There we go. And... Can I rush in for the crit? And... Yeah. Three omens in a row. In a Roman. Alright. Cool. Cool. Somber Smoking Stone 8, and oh, that, that's good. Being one by one required ahead. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh, here's our shortcut. Dung. Try right, and short, behold, short, but and short, short, behold, shortcut. This is Smithing Stone 7. A Smithing Stone 8 is going to be useful. Somber Stone 8. I can use that on my golden order seal. I hear somebody. Huh. And where is this going to lead here? Okay. Hmm. Part of the underground. Roadside back over here. Okay. Now this side is... Not entirely done. I still need to go over to Dung Eater's location. Past these rats and those Miranda flowers and also finger creepers. It... I went over to Dung Eater on my first file. I did not do this much. Did not go through the rest of the area in any sense. Oh, well, alright. I think... Best way now is going to be just spamming charge heavies on the Mirandas. Yeah, okay. And there we go, cool. And good damage, good damage. Short spiral also works decently against these guys. Decently. Two and oh right, we have Blessing's Boon, which means we Oh my oh my wait, what? Huh? Okay, I did not expect that much damage. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mo. Well, all right. Hmm. Just been having to deal with all those omens again. Annoying. I we got stuff back. Hmm. Okay. I will try this garbage again. And 
items. Slash. Thank you. There we go. And sprig. Another kill. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. I'm worried around here, but I think that I should go straight to the actual moke fight. It's in the direction of Frenzy Twain Prescription. Okay. Thank you. And there we go. So critical. The jump back does make that a little unwieldy. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for you to come over so we can crit you as well. Mm-hmm. Whatcha doing? Where you going? Whatcha doing? Mm -hmm. Sneak up. Fully charge the heavy and there we go. Move in for the crit. And well I did not expect that. Okay. And the blood less killed. Acceptable. Mm-hmm. Alright then. Get through there and okay. Multiple omens around that way, but I can Okay, I heard something and I don't like that. There's one presumably in that passageway then. Okay, so that one just immediately drops down, but once I provoke them I'm not gonna accost me. Okay. Understandable. Have a an uneasy piece. Okay. One, two, three ends. It's just it's kind of crazy how powerful these rats are. Well, it it's their thing, I guess. Come on. Oh wow. Okay. Hmm. Slash. Slash. Okay. Blessing Spoon. Now. Flame Grammy Strength and... Honestly, I can just use Black Flame. That would be far less cumbersome. Yeah, yeah. It might take a bit longer. But... Certainly leaves less up to chance. Thank you. And honestly, there are enough of HP sponges that this is not necessarily an inefficient use of the spell. Okay, cool. And I... Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, Flame Grant Me is actually off now. Okay. Here we are. Keep on throwing. Thank you. Just the amount of health they have is kind of ridiculous. They're just big old flowers. They might be under the Ur tree, but still. Alright, and one final one should do it. Okay, cool. Should be one final Miranda flower. Oh, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Move in and cut you off. And you just keep on using your whole thing. Okay. Golden Vow. And we can't even use that right now. Go and grab me and... Just toss fire at the flower. Okay. Luckily it keeps it from doing much. Unless I'm close when it can start whomping. But, hmm, stamina cost is a bit much. Okay, thank you. And one funnel. There we go, okay. And it only costs most of our flasks. Alright. Key required ahead. Try up, oh, but be wary of fingers, right? The finger creepers around here. Alright. Got Golden Vow, so don't imagine it should be a problem one way or the other. Let's put on Starlight and then we can chug. 
shot the golden one. Oh, a rune arc, nice. Let's look for... Yeah, the finger creepers. And there we go, thank you, and... One, two... There we are, so it's only the little ones left. Cool, okay, well, alright. Annoying. Can I... Oh, and they do... They have a tickle attack? It's actually hilarious. Lost Ashes of War, Somberstone 7. Hmm. Where we have ill omened creature. That does not seem to lead to anything. I don't know. Main thing is, if I have to go through all this every single time, I want to talk to the dung eater, I swear. What's interesting, and he near his head sloshing against the wall when he smashes it in there. It's kind of crazy. But. Hmm. Can you actually get through there? I. It's interesting. Maybe there's an illusory wall. But that maybe Bogger was down here. Hmm. Any. Okay, let me see. Be funny if it was an illusory wall and you just could not figure out how to escape. Who are you? Leave your jail. I've been here long enough. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed. Along with how pleasant. Children. There does not look to be anything, but now that I've freed him, I should be back in Landell, presumably. But I. It's actually kind of weird. It doesn't seem like there's a way through. Suppose then I could could go back to Landale now. I mean to the round table hold. Tell them that he unshackled his corporeal flesh. Should mean him leaving the hold. Eventually. And yep, it's just a message there now. So Bogger should actually be gone. I'll defile you next. Come to the outer moat. What a way to flirt. That would be where Bogart is, or at least used to be. Big thing is... Show up at the same time as one of the crabs, meaning... Should try to take that crab out first, so he doesn't get in the way. Oh, and... Oh? Okay. Fair enough. Didn't see that one. Mm -hmm. Just keep on going. So the crab should go down pretty easily to... Krizir strikes, but... We'll see about the rest. Mm hmm Should be good. He will invade, but we can buff up before that happens. <clears throat> Chug that, and... Bogger is not dead yet. That's good. Hmm. 
to talk to you here. He'll invade in the middle. Some more crab about the dung eater. See it here again. Those are those bodies. Him, no question. Working around here. Mm hmm. Oh, all right. We'll do our thing. Mm hmm. Oh no. Play grant me. Okay. Cool. He'll invade around this area. I believe. Do I have to rest? Don't imagine I would. Well. Mm hmm. There we go. Okay, yeah. Alright. And there we have it. Which means... Wait. Oh, okay. So since Boggart was there, I presume we had to actually activate his dialogue there first. Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Let's try that again real quick. Just... Go back over there and see if he invades now. Because I think that Boggart has to end up dead first. I have two seabed curses. Yeah. Two of those. And then Medicine Peddler, Goldwort Picker, Somerset Miner. All right. This one is pretty fun. Makes it easier to go through places like Kaled and Lake of Rod if you get it before going there. Unfortunately, everything that really required bosses is something we've already gone through. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But, and Boggart should unfortunately be dead now. Does mean we get his cool fists. And that means. Or wait, huh? Maybe not? Yeah, I suppose not. Maybe after. Oh, okay, well. Oops, he is dead. Which means when we approach the middle. Mm. Oh, bloody. The idea of selling grabs. Help me out. Would you make another one get cursed? Just let me die. Uh oh. I don't want to live like this. So is he asking for a mercy killing? Seabed Curse, his bell bearing, Iron Ball, and the Blackguard's Iron Mask. Ouch. Oh, and then he invades. Alright. Fair enough, suit yourself. Ah, Shriek of Milos. Let's get a few buffs then. Alright. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you, and. Alright. You're simple. Oh, all right. Oh. Oh, the Omen Baron. That's fun. And three waves. I like that. Up. All right, and stab, stab, stab. Another stab, and there we go. Crab not even involved. Okay. Dung Eater has died. Got this sort of Milos. Hmm. Sword of Milos, Greatsword, Standard Pierce, Blood Loss, Build Up. Signature of Greatsword, Fashion for a Giant's Backbone, Meets Up Wounds like a Lopset Saw Blade, Restores FP upon defeating the enemy. Milos understands for a giant, Vito is solely terribly grotesque. Shrek of Milos, Horrified Curse Stream, Reduces all damage occasion status for nearby foes. Status Red, Strong Attack, Change to a Combo Attack. Convicted Prisoners with a Blackguard, Big Boggart. Bugger, mess made him all more threatening, help me get who I want. Mirror of his emptiness, iron balls, mana for a spherical shape. Bogger and Blackguard's weapon of choice, not be taken lightly. Shatters, bones with ease, boasts for roar, attack power, defense, stamina, recovery, speed. And that is a pretty good option. Got an Ash of War on there already. Perish Flesh, access to new items. Well, we did 
crab not even involved. Okay. So, I suppose... I wonder what there might be in... The hold now that we actually took him down. Hmm. And he says you can kill me and defile my corpse. Well, it didn't really happen. What is it? Oh, right. Um, secret medallions, unlocated demigods. Now he says that's just because we're in Altus. Nicola. Defeated Swordswoman. Daughter of Renala. A Lord of Blood. Lani is said to have cast aside her great rune. So here at the hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. Okay. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right. Long lost right. Send for the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, compelled to work together. Screw medallions on the Albanoic woman. Hey, Vlasker. Okay, well, all right. All right, Mogwin Palace in the Lord of Blood's cocoon. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself. That's from going to Mogwin Palace. The other one is for killing him. Bloody fingers. Well, Mog is the only cool one, actually. Hmm. Just an unattainable. So he doesn't even tell you to kill him. Hmm. It's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah. Bless myself for the moment there. You now you promised your reward. Wondrous thing indeed. You remain constant. A favors cookbook. So I suppose then that's why he's curious about Mikwa possibly being there, because it's in connection with St. Trina. Right, bewitching branch. Decent enough. What is it now? Word of what's uh, cocoon? I see. So Nicola was with the Lord of Blood after all. Mm -hmm. That is some fine intelligence indeed. There we go. With this it, light takes you to the, the DLC. Final clue has been brought into the light. Mm -hmm. One of the last few pieces to round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites. The Not last one. Of causality. So presumably they think you go to the you would go to the Hail Tree before Mogwin Palace, but we went to Mogwin Palace for even Lando. Comes next, slumber all be well. Sifra to destroy it. It's a mystery to me. Oh, it's a DLC. Hmm. Demigods. Okay, millennia. Well, to be fair. Word of blood, but we already did Moog. Okay. Hmm. That love causality. Temptations of Golden Order Fundamentalists. Key fundamentals. Small ring of causality within. Automatic retaliate upon receiving a certain number of blows. Fundamentalists describe Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Causality is the pull between meaning is that which links all things in a chain of relation. It's very... Could deal like... Frankly, Aquinas's prima causa. Hello, we killed you. you warded off my blessing. I did. Despite the curse. Mm. No one has succeeded in that before. Ow. My boy. Then it hit me. That you are in fact. Well, my sword hit you. Me. And I am the dog eater. It is what does that mean? All right. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the my flesh. Again and again. Until it is done. Until the cursed ring coalesces. And my one day be far order itself. Countless I have killed. And countless I have defiled. And soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed. And they'll bear thousands of cursed children. Brilliant of them all. 
Blessing, the foul to the curse, the foul order itself. Okay, well, we need a good deal more of those. We'll do that after Halo Tree. I won't even be getting that ending, though. Not the dung ending. Right end. Somewhere in. Around this area. It's the way. That's got little catacombs, and that over there was. No, that was Grand Sax. It's interesting that the Shunning Grounds aren't actually an underground lair. Hmm. Suppose then, go back to the underground roadside. But, oh, also I can level up. Level up my Golden Order seal briefly, so I may as well do that. Get a little bit more. Spell power. And it is just crazy how empty the hole is becoming. Is he still. He's not there anymore. Okay. And now there's a corpse? Okay. A plump sword. Hero. So the only thing left is his actual body, and we do need more of the curses then. And there should be. Couple more in multiple in the Halo tree. Another one in the real world around table. Oh, huh. I need to do better than this. This will never Well, we actually already made a plus ten weapon. It needs to slay a bloody god. Hmm. Oh. So only once you get to a and it changes like these are made. Well, we actually already did make God's Sling Weapon, so I wonder if you'll even have the dialogue. Alright, and that's about a 5% increase. Not bad at all. Hmm. But, eventually it gets to around 420 or something if you max out both Intelligence and Faith. It's very, very good. A really, really nice multi-scaling. Let's go back down to the catacombs right now. I want to go to the roadside again and walk the final shortcut that would lead eventually to Moog. Especially since there's a really, really nice talisman that you get from taking them out too. First, I should probably put a number of things away. Sort of chess. Most of these weapons should go in. Yeah. Four Demilos or Dovis. Onyx Lord, Bennett's Curve Sword, Cadget. It's Great Axe, Holmes Halberd, Great Claw, and that can go in too. Alright, let's uh, keep the keep the ship light, so to speak. Gotta run a nice, tight ship. So how long are they gonna go? But yeah, I don't feel any need to go back into where the Dung Eater is until I've actually got all the Seedbed Curses and... Did that quit me? Okay, for a second I thought that was gonna drop me through the floor and have me roll it out, which would have been rather unpleasant. Okay. The question is... Are they going to detect me having killed one of their brethren? I- okay, cool. Thank you. Take you down, and one, two. And presumably zoom over, over the side. We're out in that way, and yep, we could hear that one. Drop down. For now, we'll stick to that. Put our light back on, sneak over through here, try to not provoke those guys, and here we are. They're scared somewhere, but that's where things go down. Hmm. Drop down there, so presumably that's where the scarab is. We got more. Those zombies take a lot of punishment. This reminds me a little bit of Botry, actually. Big part that goes up. 
Grace Mimic. Oh, well, that does not lead to much of anything. Tower Watch, right, and that goes up to the Man Eaters. Not down, but up. Okay, so now we drop down here, and oh, hello there. One, two. What we get? Okay, Summerstone 6. That. It's okay. It's so funny how. Profligate they are just giving away somber stones in comparison to all the other kinds. One, two, two, and... Alright, I didn't think I'd be able to go down and get that, but... Hmm. It's worried for a second. A warming stone. Alright. Cool. And there we are. Another mushroom. I wonder why mushroom is even involved there. Thank you. And let's keep on moving. Here. Okay, more Miranda flowers, but... Moving down here, I can see stuff down here, but... I can't say all that much. Oh, and, well, we can cut you down before you actually do anything, if I play my cards right. Seek a monarch. What is that? Preserving boluses. Oh, so is this the way over to Moog, or...? Wait, it's actually a bit confusing. This fire grease and... Ah, uh, weary of group. Group of what? Should be willing to climb back up if I have to. And oh, we got Basilisk! Yay, okay. Thanks, alright. And can I... Mm, slash, and can I... Slash, slash, oh my goodness. Thank you for the Death Blight. Luckily, at least there aren't Death Blight Miranda flowers. That would be actually evil. So, we can apply a few buffs and try our best to Black Flame, that last thing to death. Okay, cool. And good damage. Oh, so what's around the other side then? I didn't even notice there was a side pathway over there. So there's a path back and a path side over here, and now you're doing more fallen. Let's just continue burning you up. And oh my goodness, luckily we are far away enough that it won't affect us all that adversely, but even still. Get some light back in here. What we got? Poison stone. Poison stone, build up a poison, pest extermination, small stone, or poison core. I've forgotten how to craft them. Alright, so what is past of this then? Oh, and oh, well, more basilisks. I suppose it makes sense considering that this is around deeper depths, but still. Oh, please, you. How are we gonna. Can I. Okay, alright. Thanks. Hmm. So is there going to be a shortcut back somewhere where- oh, Nomad Ashes. Tribe and Tomb of the Earth is to bury the maddening disease that follow them, able to emit the terrible flame of frenzy from his eyes, his old HP is frail, and able to take much in the way of punishment. I turn back... Okay, so the roar for that was just the Nomad Ashes. It's pretty cool. It wasn't that much of a reward, but it wasn't supposed to be. It... A lot of cool, unique rewards that just are not are nice to have, but not so significant that missing them is going to ruin a playthrough. But it means that they can put unique rewards past pretty much every corner, which is nice. I hear something. Well, we got multiple basilisks here. Then, all right. Hmm. Okay. And one. Oh my. Oh. Oh goodness. This is not good. Let's use the rejuvenating bolses, which I cannot use. Cannot craft right now for some reason. Okay, and oh, we got this guy. Alright, cool. As one does. Why is it always a door? It does not open from this side. Okay, whatever. Come on. It, it's a long area. Actually, quite long. Okay, not more than I would expect. Is it another door, so presumably some kind of shortcut, but how many omens are in here then? That's what I wonder. It's down here. Hmm. Let's go around. Luckily, they're 
easy to sneak up on, but you can still... Uh, thank you, there we go, going for the critical. One, two, and one quick slash, there we go. Thank you, golden centipede, a glass shard, and... Oh, you dropped the omen bear. That's fun. That which race that chased down foes and it's more to the, their breath attack as well is presumably that's what tongue gator either uses have the regal omen baron chased down foes omen babies have all their horns excised causing most to perish fetishes are made to memorialize them please don't hate me or curse me please dapple quite cured me Immune robustness and focus traditional cured me reduce effectiveness but you see a little gravestone here which Presumably, the Baron might have been there before the Omen itself picked him up. Maybe. Okay. It's another tragic story. Okay. Hmm. So get over there then. Take down. Okay, so clearly we can drop that down eventually, but door that does not open from one side and then try attacking. Poison stone. Oh well. And here we are. Thank you. Interesting. And now we've got a way back. Fun. And a stake of America too. Hmm. Oh, and alright. So normally you would drop down, but we can make that not as much of a problem. So how many more imps? Clearly there are some over there, but do they jump up or jump down then? Either way, I think it's time to put the Khajiira back on. Thank you. Hi, hello. Can I... Hmm. Thanks. Well, oh, that didn't stun it. That's surprising. So who is throwing stuff at me and from where? Okay. There you are. Alright, and slam, slam, and hmm. the rest that's all over this way, though, is going to be interesting to get through. Alright. Got our hammer still on until we run into some omens or something, but I... Okay, hello. Oh, well, we can backstab, I suppose. Forgot I could even do that to them. Okay, cool. And one, two, there we are. Hmm. This is a, oh, all right. One, two, hi, how are you doing? Good to see you. Okay. We're in the sewers. That's about it. Oh, okay. Busy or just in general. So did that. Guy, is that one gonna come up or go down or? Aw. Okay, okay, you're just gonna crawl up. And how are there? Why are there multiple? Okay. One. Okay. Uh, let's not fall off with it. And. Oh. Oh, you went to the beach. That's fun. Did you enjoy it? Well, presumably. But. We're making some shortcuts over in this long sewer area where. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I'll say that much. You can kick that ladder get down there faster. Let's put our light back on. Thank you. Hmm. How then? Oh, we have to jump inside the hole into the pipe. Oh, that's fun. That's interesting, I suppose. And no hidden bath ahead. All right. Now I think we should put our Bloodhound's Fang back on then. Jump in here. And defensible spot, and therefore try Clue. Wait. Wait. Oh, nice. That's exciting. Uh huh. Oh, and okay. It's another Scarab giving. Well, we didn't use any Cerulean Tears as a thing. Mm hmm. Well, that's nice. So you got a lot of peace and quiet then, presumably. Sloops around in all manner of directions. 
I still want to respawn enemies if I can help it. Good luck. What does that mean? Oh, it's confusing now. Probably. But over back the other way should hopefully be... The Pathlink? Because there was... A door that only opens from one side on one side, and I'm looking for that. Why is it always a dead end? This was the one that... Wait, I... Huh? I'm getting ultured around. Oh my goodness. It's not good. Not good. Oh, well we got you, and I didn't know they could damage me. I wouldn't take you as a heat-sensitive person. No strong foe ahead. Then, Golden Rune 8. Come on, come on. And that did not kill. Huh. I... Where was my... Way out? Oh, interesting. Even as a southern Italian. That... That's just sad, actually. Much pity. Smithing Stone 7 and 4 of them, too. But... Oh, okay, well, I guess I could drop out through there if I really, really felt like it. Hmm. Okay. Huh. What do you mean different? Just global warming or... What, what, what's different? Actually, the best way to go through a labyrinth type pathway is... Huh, is it humidity then? Because a lot of people, when they talk about differences in heat and heat becoming more dangerous, it's in connection to humidity. In particular, they talk about something called the wet bulb temperature, which is basically when you cover a thermometer with a washcloth and record the temperature, because it basically means after a certain amount of humidity... With a certain amount of humidity, your body loses the ability to get rid of heat via sweating. Which becomes very, very dangerous very, very fast. Because it means that eventually your body will literally boil itself. You will boil yourself to death. Huh. It might be humidity. But, the big thing is that I can't imagine that, probably not, I find it hard to imagine that global warming would make the sun behave differently. You know, the one thing I could think of would maybe be that there's less cloud cover than normal, but that is a bit different. Uh, so... Oh my goodness. All sorts of directions. One, two. Oh, and. Huh? There's an imp on top? Weird. Oh, well, hello. Alright. Then a glass shard. And this away, back, or. Well, it. I suppose I've found the way through by process of elimination. Something stone eight, and. Oh, actually, what that means is. I can actually take the Krajira to plus 24. That said, I'm not sure I want to. So eventually, well, I should. I should. But even though eventually I will have access to Giant Crusher. This is... Huh? I... Yeah. It's a weird location. Hmm. Well, if you have a parasol, that just makes you a fancy lady. There's no shame in that. Oh, but... So this is where... Here, okay. So we went the other way and there was nothing to it. Alright. Behold the Elden Ring. So... Got a right path and a left path and that drops down. Oh, okay. Huh. So we could get another level before the end of this spot, but... Oh, come on. And, oh, my goodness. The fact that the rats take two hits now is... 
less than pleasant. Hmm. Let's go over before we go down. I hear more rats. Wicked sword ahead. Huh. It. Why? Why would they think it makes you crazy? Because other people just endure the sun. Come on. Oh, and the corpse went down. Okay. So how many more ways through? Okay, so it was that side. So the only thing I can do is drop down. Alright, fun. Not really. Oh, well, I... I just dropped down the wrong way. Okay, well, it... Then, quite frankly, they're stupid. I would say, do they want skin cancer? But the answer might be yes. Hmm. Well, the big thing is just... One of that holes was literally just the wrong choice. What kind of Roblox pick-a-path garbage, garbage was that? Okay, so... Go back in. Wait, no, I go around the other way? I... okay. Funky place. Yeah, and this is where I was. Yeah. So we go left then, and go down the hole on the left. There. It... You, you, you have to try not to die. I'd recommend it. Smithing stone five, and... Now we can open that, so in theory we could get over here even if I dropped down the other way instead. Okay. So now, now we can keep on moving. Hope we find a way through without having to fight a boss first. And, oh, we got a bunch of jars down here. Okay. Friend. Well, not really. Thank you, and let's just pull up these jars. All right, and, hello. Slam and already gone. So, oh, well, there was another little jar. Yeah, I... That does not surprise me. And I assume a lot of people get melanoma and die young. Because they got melanoma. Oh, and a, an elevator down here. Okay. Huh. Let's take that and... So the question is, will there be another side of grace before the Moog fight? Hmm. Oh, okay, and there is a side of grace before the Moog fight. That's good. So I guess the question is, do I use... I think I'll use Bloody Helix for this fight. Forsaken Depths. Alright. Let's put on Bloody Helix and equip some slightly heavier armor. More Bulgo. And we can level up once. That, let's put that into Arcane. Alright. Yeah, it. And that's because they're smarter. That's because they're smarter. So is this going to be... Oh, so it's another catacombs type area. Which again, this reminds me a good deal of Chalice Dungeon layouts from Bloodborne, but... Okay, so that's where Flight's gonna start right after I go through this. So, let's just use this now. So this boon. Golden Vow. Yeah, because they're smart. They're not stupid. And there he is. This is Moog the Omen. Oh, all right. Well, we're in a decent position. Can I? And dodge. Can I? One. Oh, okay. I, thanks. I, dodge. Okay. Thanks. And, oh, well. All right. Mm -mm. Thank you. Can I? Mm. Dodge. Okay. I. Okay. Mm -mm. And this is... Oh, can I... Thank you. One, two, and... Can I... Okay. 
dodge. One, two, and... Cut. Okay, there we are. Yep, and this is... The other mode fight. Which will do pretty... Well, it... This is just normal mode. Not boss war mode. He doesn't have a second phase, and this... It's not even the real mode. This is explicitly an illusion, an illusion of mode, and I... Dodge, can I, Oh, well, alright. Can I... Oh, okay. Interesting. Can I... Heal. Well, you've seen him before. This is literally the guy I fought previously. And can I... Dodge... Oh, well, alright. Thanks. I, okay. Thanks. Heal. Okay. Alright, and... One... Okay. Hmm. I... He is... He is a fun guy. It's hard to hate Mo. And... Alright. Go ahead. Dodge. One... Okay. Luckily, we're strong now. Cool. There we are. Okay. Thank you. That was a bit scuffed. Bloody Helix is not especially suited towards larger enemies that you can't stagger. But there we go. Blood Flame Talons. Blood of Incantation from the Lord of Blood. But that song is actually called Omen Illusion, because that's not even the real Moog. We already killed the real Moog. That was a fake Moog. Yeah. Blood Flame Lacerations explode in an instant, cast repeatedly, dealing damage on set of Blood Loss for a very short time, and it's a cool one. But here we are, and the only thing past this would be Frenzied Flame Prescription. Cathedral of the Forsaken. It's okay. Just say it's part of your charm. Then we got Urtree's Favorite plus one. See, they look a bit different. We got more branches. A little bit more HP, a little bit more stamina, a little bit more equip load. Decent enough. And you roll into that, and the altar goes down, and cannot go through here yet. Accepted what? Stupidity? And this is also sealed by Morgoth the Grace Given. So we can't come back here until we beat the boss of the area. Before that, we also have... What was through there? What was through there? Huh? I... Underground Roadside. I never said it was. What I said is that you should say it is. I actually despise it. I find it infuriating. But for the sake of achieving your personal goals, you should act like it is. Okay, let's level up and get... Intelligence. Okay. So where then? Over that way. I've been there, haven't I? Okay. How much does steel so Okay, and one. Oh wow, that was pretty good. And okay. Interesting. Can I Okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay. And okay. Dodge and okay. Okay. Yeah, I would have been better off using Bloodhound's Fang on that. Okay. Well, now you're... Wait. Huh? Okay. Uh, I... Wait. Oh, that was the marking I put for Dung Eater's location. Let's go back to the Wendell Catacombs, then. Hmm. Let's see... Looking up a boss, and the boss of the catacombs is weaker to all physical damage types, hemorrhage and frostbite. Okay. Well, this weapon is a good player killer, which is nice. So we can go down into these catacombs, then. And this should be the Landell Catacombs, which is a dungeon under Landell. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep on moving. And this one is a silly mind screw in that it repeats, actually. And so this is a bit like that 
Narcissus and Croyd's area, the Anapausis area in. Genshin and Fontaine. And we got corpses coming down. Fun. Okay, let's just keep on hacking away. And, oh, well, poisonous corpse. Alright. Me when I spit worms. Okay. Come on. One, two, three, three, and, alright. I had been a bit more merciless on that guy. I think he would have gotten some Bordelas on him too before death. Okay. Yeah, the big thing with this dungeon in particular is that it repeats. One, two, three. Well, there was a Pokemon fan game that added a joke Pokemon called a Tentaquil, which looked kind of like a screwed up Politoed, and its signature move was a bug type attack called Spit Blood. No, it was, it was puke blood. Puke blood. Okay. Thank you. We're just gonna let these guys explode. Oh, well, alright. Well, okay. Three. Thank you. Yeah, well. I guess it's what you sign up for. So. It's the only reason we even have a short bow. It's to take out these things, but we can put normal arrows on now, thank you, and get rid of this, there we are, and now it's going down, wait, what? Why about Squirtle? Oh, so you can use these to go up, presumably, but try attacking, yeah. There we are. So over here we have an omen. Alright, so let's take you down. So we can grab from this. Oh, well you instantly see me coming. Alright, cool. As one does. And... There we are. Going for the crit. Oh. Well, you know, may maybe he does. Crucible Scale Talisman. Scale and bodies and aspects of various creatures. Scrum the human body long go. Reduces damage taken from crits. Divine nature time. Sustain his impurity. Civilization advance. Oh, probably because water gun. Oh, that. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. It. I think after you. Oh, and we got. Dead corpses. Where you have right? There is. Okay, we got another omen. Let's be careful. Luckily, they only show up the first time through because the entire point is to throw you off guard. So I can. Thanks. I... All right. One. Two. Crit. One. Two. A little, maybe. Mm, but. So I think this is where it's going to start to repeat. Go board and the description is same. Always liar. Alright. So what's interesting is that this looks like it's the starting room, but it's actually not. Go down here and it's supposed to throw you off guard, but it doesn't actually lead back to the beginning. Because it looks like the first room, but this is... It's slightly bigger. I mean, it's slightly higher up. It's supposed to throw you off guard. So it's a replica that's a little higher up to make you think that the dungeon loops when it actually does not. I was a bit overzealous there, so... What happens if we go back to what would ostensibly be the actual start of the dungeon? Ah, okay. Uh-huh. So what's through here, then? This fake boss room. Uh-huh, where you're right. Multiple omen. Yeah, it's an interesting concept. So... 
Got to fight against multiple omen now, so thanks, and going for the critical. Thank you. And now the other one is coming, because of course it is. Alright, cool. Hmm. Spin on Blessing's Boom. Oh, but you don't see that one then. Going over your friend's corpse. But yeah, they don't see all that well. Maybe because of the influence of being raised in the dark. Yeah, just sit back and enjoy yourself. It's not too important. Yep, we got a replica of the boss room. And on here we have Golden Rune 11. So there are a good amount of things you can find if you know, if you know the trick. Okay. Keep on moving. So what would happen if I went up what was presumably the exit? Oh, look. You can't go through. Keep moving ahead and... I thought I heard an enemy stirring. Probably is above or below, but yeah, you can... It just repeats now. Yeah, well, he's he's not little. I do feel sorry for him, but they're definitely not little. And they're rather threatening. So, my sympathy is a little constrained. Just a little. And yep, you go through here and it looks like it repeated, but it did not actually repeat. This is actually different. Hmm, well... Look it off. There we go. Season your food. And oh, well, normally you would think... There's no omen there, though. Well, okay. Fair enough. I guess. Oh, but wait, I... Huh. Okay, so I messed up some of that then, I think. Did I? Yeah, because I missed a... I think I missed a side path. I think I did. Well, whatever. I will... It'll send me back to the beginning at the end, so... If I were you, I would call you a coward. Luckily for you, I'm not you. Oh, come on. Let's... There we go. Mm -hmm. If it's good enough for a cat, it should be good enough for you. So, let's put this there, and... Hmm. Snick up on this imp. Hi, hello. One, two, three... Oh, well, alright. Go ahead, fall to your death. So what is this, then? I... okay. Don't imagine this was separate, was it? Let's lead back to the start, or... What? Huh. Want to go home. So, what is this then? Or is this the way back to the actual start point? Yeah, I think it is. Let's work our way through. Well, that sounds like a skill issue to me. Somewhere a heavy door is opened. Oh, so I think that was... That's the way you're supposed to solve the puzzle by playing spot the difference, basically. But, before I do that, there should be a bit more in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, th so this is cake first now? Is that right? Yeah, because I don't think... I didn't remember seeing that side pathway there before. So now we're back on the first instance, the first level. Let's go check, but I'm pretty sure... There's nothing there, and yeah, there was nothing over there. Nothing at all. Well, and there's meat in there too, so it would, it would just be soup. Well, cake versus stupid too, so... It works. Okay. Keep on going. Hmm... Yeah, the funny thing is that in one of those Arla Fury Cakeverse things I looked up, basically just to make myself angry, 
There was someone who basically responded, this is basically vampire fiction. And so I realized that there, there was nothing that Cake First could ever do that vampire fiction hasn't done already, and much better. Okay, that over there. So do I sh shoot that now? Oh, right, because I went through and now I need to... Wait, not like that, not like that. Come on, come on. And we shoot, and it went too low to actually take it down. There we go. And again, this is the only reason to use a bow in this game, really. Alright. Keep on moving through. How many more? Well, yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Is that it's just vampire fiction that was given a new coat of paint. For no good reason. Okay, vampires are peak, I'm sorry. You don't get it. And now you see, they had an omen looking at their dead friend. Alright, and thank you. Stance break, and one, two, and goodbye. Okay, so let's see what else there is if we go through for another cycle. Just put them in, put, put them in an air fryer first to warm them up. It's that simple. Oh, and now, now, that way is blocked off. Okay, that... Get nose plugs. And you can teleport out of here, which is useful, given how crazy this place gets. So how much is left in here, then? One, two, three... Oh, and... Okay, alright. Three... <coughs> Shoo! One, two, three. Imagine if I got grabbed because I sneezed. Imagine if that killed me. That would be impermissible. What do you mean, the problem? Well, because, because you love them? Because you love them? Maybe. Presumably. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and there you are. Hello. Omen. Thanks, and just cannot... Alright, and move in for the crit. We were able to do a little trade there. That's what's nice about having high poise. There's nothing up there. Can't even get up there, but... So we've gone through... Cycles of the area. Seek old conjure. Time for despair. Yep, and that just loops back over that way, Ben. And... Okay, cool. But we figure things out. Well, it... It depends on the vampire. Well, what if someone you already loved became a vampire? Would you stop loving them? Where you were a vampire? Okay, that... That, that sounds about right to me. You would enjoy that. Okay. Let's continue and buff up here. Okay. And... The boss of this area is just going to be a tarnished guy. So we can... Grails were on him. Oh, oh, and he's got his dogs, too. Okay. Cool. And the dogs are very, very dead now. All right. And can I... Stab, stab, stab. And wow, that was simple. Okay. All right. Word of Blood's exultation. And that's a good thing. That's a great, a great talisman. That, yeah, well, they shouldn't have attacked me. Blood loss in the city increases attack power. Exultation. Render up your offerings of blood to your war. Drench my consort's chamber. Slake his cocoon's thirst. His awakening shall herald the dawn of our dynasty. So what is interesting is that, arguably, that does kind of imply that the entire reason why... Moog had his bloody finger murder cult was maybe because of Mikko's brainwashing to nourish the tomb. Well, it, it, it's pretty, pretty standard fork behavior. Hmm. Well, actually, now what I need to do is farm a few more foul feet. All right. So that means putting this back on, putting on 
whatever most increases arcane 37 and then I'll like Noric mass should increase it to max 38 okay I believe you America's scar seal and wait silver scarab silver scarab is oh it's in hidden path to the hailing tree which is it's crazy how farther that is than the golden scarab which is just here in Kaled. okay let's do it yeah i i don't believe you in the slightest you're definitely a fork Come on, and get more foul feet. We got a good amount of golden fireflies from various ponds and sometimes corpses, so just keep our farming up. And the nice thing is, is that the range makes sure that I can hit them without going away. I had to, I had to do a moderation action to let that one through. I hope that makes you feel good about yourself. That's how much I care about you, you know? Just so you know. There we are, and pick these up. Four-tailed foul foot. More foul feet. Hmm. I... It's getting hard. Good, I'm glad you know. Try to restrain yourself in the future. Hmm. But yeah, I just... It's not all that much more item drop chance than we had before, but it's nice to have this much. Cool. Well, I'm happy I can help you feel special. I suppose. Hmm. Could Arcane. Thank you, dead birds. Four-toed Falfoot. Fly Pinion. Hmm. Good old Esger, Prince of Blood, Priest of Blood. Thank you. Put that down. Got a couple more, more foul feet. It is nice that we get a lot more from farming now just because we have more arcane. It doing this at the start of the game. Without though to be fair, I should have been using Gravitas from the beginning anyway, and I could have because I got that Ash War really early on from the Oh, Bastard Lord on the beach, but... <sighs> We're doing okay for ourselves. Thank you, and just... Gotta intermittently check to see when the... Draw buff wears off. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. That's what makes me so excited for... World Level 9 next patch. It'll make a lot of things... Faster. In particular, the big question is whether we'd get more from Ley Lines, at least experience books because that is oftentimes kind of a limiting factor in leveling characters because there are only six characters I don't have and those included only about 18 who I don't have at level 90 and after that not that many more who don't have artifact sets so it'll be nice to get everyone leveled skilled artifacted and that would allow me to make myself rather strong. So how many gold fireflies? We have enough. Okay, cool. There we go. Well, it's not that as much as it would give me the opportunity to... And medium load, okay. Taking off that Albinoric had actually make, made the difference, which is funny. It would just give me more characters to play around and exper with and experiment with, which... I find fun. So the Avenue Balcony is an exaltation. I I do things for gameplay. I do it because I enjoy the game. I act I genuinely enjoy the team building mechanics. Which one thing and a lot of some people may it took longer than I thought for people to make this joke. But they're adding these sort of, not quite local legends, but combat trial enemies that show up when you interact with something in-world. 
And all I could think of was they're adding the Everjails from Elden Ring in Not One. And it took a while for someone to make that specific joke, which surprised me. And can we go around for the backstab or uh, Okay. Come on. One, two, and just can I stab again? Mm -hmm. oh, Alright. Let me see. What do we got? You. You, and... Let me see. It is really weird how that Wingo Knight does not even sense me when I'm right behind him. Okay, and... Stab, and... There we go, cool. Fun weapon. Stab. Mm -hmm. So the well down here, right over there, is how we got to subterranean shunning grounds. So now what I need to do is... And you never saw this, because I didn't do it on stream, but... You have to climb up the wing of its wing of this dragon, Grand Gronsax, to get inside the rest of Wando. The dragon itself, its corpse is terrain. So go up the arm, then hmm, some of that. Okay, we got inside. It's crash site. Oh, rune arc, fun. That will not quite work. Let's use... Oh, not that. Not Whitney, either. I, I may be stupid. Blessing's Boon. Okay. Go up. Thank you. It... Pearl Knight's Resolve on a weapon would be... What do you mean, maybe? What are you saying maybe about... Starlight is always good for visibility. So we can sneak up and... I wonder if this will throw it off the ledge. Probably not. Yeah, it did not. Okay, and... Sub! There we are. And with a... If that had been plus ten, it would have been a one-shot. Oh well. Oh, okay, well. I... I'm trying to be nicer to myself. Trying to give myself the benefit of the doubt. If you're opposed to that, well, suit yourself. Okay, golden rune. Then, other things down here. Here is our side of grace, okay. Are you really? Are you actually? I think it's more of it. It doesn't feel as fun for you when other people join in on the bullying. Or when I just accept it instead of acting indignant. You want... You want me to get angry. You want me to get angry instead. Yeah, exactly. With friends like these, I swear. Okay. Oh, and okay, the gargoyle is right that way, so let's... Well, actually, actually, if that's right, I can. Well, what will the crozier now? That said, honestly, I... Uh, well, it would take... Well, actually... Honestly, at this point, I kind of feel like just switching to Giant Crusher. I would need to equip a... Talisman to be able to use it, but... At this point, I feel like I may as well do it. That means using some runes, though, so... Lord's Rune. Oh, there we go. It's actually just make use of that thing. And it isn't even all that much. One who was fated to become a lord, but no. But failed to do so. All was left but a distant obligation. I think that's what it said. So that sticks rank to 30. And now, with the Rune Arc and the Star Scourge Heirloom equipped we can use the giant crusher which is a it's gonna be slightly better I would argue so well we'll check things out so let's level it up real quick took her dead all the same lighter arms check an armament and now we can make our giant crusher stronger but we need to use another fat room for that. Tools, and go up and use that hero's room. 
Thank you. I get a 23 as well. I'm gonna do some comparison. And even with the DLC, it Giant Crusher is still the highest strength requirement weapon in the game. Arguably, though, there are better strength weapons in the DLC, but nothing but a higher requirement. Let's check, and we need 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, so we just need 11, and no, no, we need 12, 11, 7, okay. 12, 11, 7. Alright. That's fine by me. Buy a bunch of Smithing stones. Well, actually, let's offer these bell bearings first. Yeah. And Bogart's bell bearing. How sad. And that. Well, we can buy boiled crab if we feel like it. And. 12. 11. 7. And we can go over and. Start leveling that giant crusher, which is going to be, I would say, a little better looking than this thing. But it, we'll see what it's actually going to be useful against. Strengthen and cool, giant crusher. Pretty exciting. Gonna need a few more runes to keep leveling after a certain point, but. More god slaying weapons, I suppose. Let's pop another fat rune. This... I'm not even sure that'll be enough. I don't think it will be. Straighten that and keep on going. Thank you, and... Mm -hmm. now, this is taking a lot. It, it's honestly kind of hilarious how much easier Zomerstone weapons are to level. And a Newman's Rune. What about an old man? Back already. No matter. Strengthen. Keep leveling this thing. Okay, six. Thank you. I. Mm, and that takes a good deal. But there aren't that many other things we're even leveling, so. See just how strong this thing ends up. Your arms, strengthen, and take this to 23 as well. Thank you. And there we have it. Cool. Let's go over back to Lanedale and see how strong this thing ends up being. Not Avenue Balcony anymore, it's go to West Capitol Rampart. Now we have, and this thing we have, 703 AR. This is quality. Let's actually just see briefly if I switched out the Ash of War or the Fusion, anything else it would be. Okay, 703 normal, yeah, that's, that's less. 70, oh, 724, that's actually more. That's a good deal less. It's only... 620 or so, but... Yeah, that... And that is better, actually. Hmm. That's... 724. Whereas if I... 724 versus... 725, actually. So there might have been some rounding. For 24, that's already 701. So what if I put an infusion on this thing? This is already a good deal better. It's not as ugly either. And it's got basically Lion's Claw. Said, I don't think. You could test that on an Omen, but its stance break is not as good. Because it's rather fast. It's a bit like Lion's Claw. And the charging doesn't even last all that long. Let's test out what its AR is with a bit of infusion. Giant Crusher. 
Oh, but also it's because I've got Star Scourge Arrow I'm equipped, which makes quality not as useful as it would otherwise be. Wild Squad is good, and that... Very nice, and that's... 756. Nice. Mm -mm. 756 versus... 326, 726, 756. What about a Colt? That's 771. 771. 756. So a Colt's actually better. Yeah. Because that funny arcane's going. I... We'll take that occult lion's claw. Hmm. So my question is, let me test out in the roadside how much damage, how much stance damage the charge heavy actually deals. So that would determine. I might want to use Cragblade instead, depending. Hello then. Hi. I. Okay. All right. Can I? Thank you, and can I slam? There we go, all right. One, two, and well, that did not quite work. Okay, let's try out some of that again, but also we, and right, that's heavy load. Even with Radon Gauntlets, and this, the weight of this thing is where things get a little crazy. Let's try that again. I think Lion's Gauntlet this is still going to be the best way to make things work, but even still, I feel like trying those heavies. Hi, okay, and can I... Thank you, and can I... Oh, I... Alright, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I... Thank you, and... Yeah, that did not do all that much stance is the thing. Well, I... Mm -hmm. Okay. I... Seems like it took three. So I think I'll still stick with the Lion's Claw. Because what I thought about doing is using the Crag Blade Ash of War. This increases damage and stance damage. But that would also mean... Crag Blade would also mean having to... I wouldn't be able to use the Lion's Claws for stance breaks. I'd be using the charge heavies, which are a little less good. A little. Alright, cool. Hi, Gargoyle. And, oh my goodness, are you strong or what? Can I? Hmm, alright. Dodge, can I? Hmm, okay. Hmm. Dodge, oh well, alright. Thanks, I guess. Hmm. I, oh, okay. This is a bit tough. Why do I want to engage you then? Dodge and can I slam, slam and another hit and oh I okay I okay interesting ah huh. okay well all right thanks I okay cool dodge and one more hit well it it died it died okay yeah hi Gargi. Gargoyles of Halberd, Bronze Halberd, Willed by Valent Gargoyles, Men with Corpse Snacks, Patchwork of Champions. Well, I don't really need that, do I? Okay. It, it worked. It worked. You can't complain about results. We're done. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said that one. I might have inspired something malefic in you. Alright. Thank you. Golden Seed. This leads over to... Where? The tree's over there, and... I can't drop down that way. Well, at least not without dying. Oh, and here is... Here is our... Colosseum. I... One of us does, then. At least one of us does. Okay, so the duelists are over here. These are just standard enemy duelists, and sometimes they'll drop their axe, which is cool. And, oh, alright. Thanks. 
And can I... Thank you. And there we go. Let's run it for the critical. One. Two. There we go. And... Oh, well, you're not dead. Okay. Yeah, but... They only appear as normal enemies around this Colosseum, which means that... Well, among other things... If you... Eventually, the area will change due to game progress. And when that happens, it becomes impossible to farm for the standard version of the duelist axe. Because all the normal duelists disappear. And, and they get replaced with freaky duelists. That's a joke. Well, it there are duelists with scarlet rot on them in the consecrated snowfield, and those are the only duelists you can find after that. Some doubts. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our America inside. Why must these quiet Not me. Now? We were on the very cusp. Hmm. So they're right over here. So oh. figure something out. Mm -hmm. He's contemplating. Contations? Well, nothing new right now. The master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the master is facing quite the puzzle. The golden order is founded on the one true god, however. Radagon also appeared. Exactly as Radagon, Master is stumped. God's name discovered. He took her mind, only me here I fail him. Radagon, Master is stumped. So it was discovered how important could it really be, as poor eyes. Now the very cusp. Okay. Hmm. So we need to check some things out. This incantation I'll need to equip in a bit, but I don't have access to it yet. Need to get the Golden Order Principia first. Oh, the Starfist. That's a decent one. Iron Man first. Spikes to do Blood Wasps. Brutal Games of Pugilism. That's a good option. Can be pretty good for stance breaks if I recall correctly. Let's continue moving. Oh, we got these guys. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Did I? Presumably it might be in Elendil that that one painting was. The information was the, which painting? The champion song. Champion song. Prophecy, resurrection, red main, homing instinct. Champion Song. Let me see. Champion Song. Song Painting. <clears throat> and that gives you the Harp Bow. And that's right by Altus. Rambert Side Path. Okay, well, it. Don't imagine I really need the Harp Bow, though, but. So I guess I can make a brief. Brief trip back to pick it up. Something's on there, but let's go in for a fully charged heavy. Oh, a hammer. That's fun. And there we are. Let's go in for the crit. One. Two. Okay. Ritual shield talisman in that. Defeat defense when HP is a maximum. Shields in ritual combat. Died out. And in every land. Now we can open up the Lando Coliseum, and now we've gone through all the Coliseums. How exciting. Use that effigy of Merica to Royal Coliseum. Okay, one-on-one -on -one undertaken this venue. So team combat, spirit ash combat, and the final one, arguably, is now dual united combat, combat ordeal, spirit ash is allowed. Okay, cool. Well, suit yourself. Ah, oh, there's a little door here. You're not one you can go through in any normal sense. Alright. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's just see what else might be around this way. But there were, okay, finger remedy. Some little ghosts around before the Colosseums were added, because the Colosseums were added in a patch, actually, post-release. Just complaining about the Colosseums being closed, which is quite funny. But it is interesting, because in Dark Souls 3, the equivalent of the Colosseums, the undead matches, were added with DLC as well. Big thing is, should probably go down... Also, we have Miranda Flowers down there. Hmm. To reach that would be... Big thing is I did kill the Gargoyle. It... Before I forget, I should just get that hard bow. That's right. Let's go and find that ghost. There is... The ghost then should be around this way, which this is where we fought Lanseex, which was not all that bad, courtesy of Pest Threads. Go up, and where are. Was he over here? Ah, yeah, there we go. And let's see, Galmir and the Hero's Grave. The Harp Bow. That. Fashioned from minstrels harp, holy crap, venti, sonorous towns, okay. Designed with flying arrows, tribute sing tales of champions, both in the honorable service of the urgery and the one who spurns the honor for blasphemy. Hmm. Barrage. Hold horizontally. Then Vargrim and they're over there, and of course. Oh, we can't Juno Hoslo. Then. Let's go back to the rampart. Then we have the port button manor to go through. Hmm. Alright. Which way then? Presumably we can to jump out, but it's not exactly a pleasant way to get there. Fortified Manor is right there. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Get over there. Check down the ground sacks. Well, there are a number of things. Hmm. That's a way down. So is the other path, and... Oh, here we are, hello. And just one, two, you can't exactly jump back now, can you? Oh, but... If my... Sword hits the wall, oh well. Can't do all that much then. Hmm. That's a way down. Well, one of them. Before that, I... Oh, right, because that would open up. Lever would open up that gate, allowing me to go through by way of the avenue balcony. Which I guess would be maybe a little more convenient. Every slightly keen sword. While well, the sword of an aged knight, last quest belong behind him, repurposed into a walking stick. Tip is rather worn, bent at back, without the brawn required even to raise the sword all up. Still, he wished to meet his end with a weapon in hand. Hmm. Poor him. Zoom away, that's the guy. So, use our lever to open that up. Golden rune, and here we are, pull the lever. Oh, okay, I didn't know you could make them just appear like that. Well, all right. Slash, then we can work our way down over here. We have a couple of knights who want my hide. Well, that is more than doable. We can take them on anyway. Mm -hmm. Hello then. Let's just sneak up and stab you in the back. 
works well enough for me. And can I stab it? Oh, okay, interesting. I'll ride it. Mm. Okay, I. And dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Stab and can I? Mm. Stab, stab it. Stab. Oh, well. He had more stance than I expected. Okay. Let's just put healing buff up. And then. Continue on our merry way. We got a couple of Landale Knights I'm gonna need to take out. We can get the gravel stone seal from here, so I one Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, what? Huh? That was ridiculous. Okay. Huh. I was not expecting that. Our Golden Val could have saved me. Hmm. Well, okay. Hmm. Those things are just candy to me now. All right, cool. And oh, all right. Expect that to miss like that. Okay, cool. And can I stab, dodge, dodge the holy bubble? Mm -mm. You know what? Why not use the physic flask? I uh, I don't even think those guys are spawn. Okay. Oh, but Ryan, that lets me look it up to that elevator over there. That'll be fun. Hmm. -mm. Let's actually go over to the bow guy. Oh, well, that didn't quite work in the precise way I would have liked it to, so. Stab it. Not continue. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Just. Okay, that was just rejection. Okay. Thanks. And one, two, and. Okay. I, all right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, heal. Thanks. And. Hmm. Both of you are stab it, dodge. Okay, thanks. I, oh my goodness. Stab it, dodge. Okay. Cut. Oh, okay. Hmm. Trying to use dropping the seal. I, oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Go up and just dodge and cannot. Thanks. I, dodge and cannot. Stab, stab, stab. Okay. Hit this guy. Oh, and there we got our gravel stone seal. Okay. Gravel Stone Seal, Dragon Cult Incantations boosted. Sacred Seal, Gravel Stone thought to be an ancient dragon skill, enhances Dragon Cult Incantations, level of capital. Worship of ancient dragons does not conflict with belief in the Ur Tree. After all, the seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. To be fair, that's not all. Not all gold. Pick up whatever's over here then, and this is. Okay, just three gravel stones. Okay. So this is a part that was never fully repaired after the ancient dragon conflict then. Hmm. Alright. So. Hmm. Key button looking. How then? Will this let me get up in there or jump out? Hmm. Can I use this as a way to get into that side passage. Does not seem to be the case. I'll have to go from inside the manor most likely. Oh, but is that a jump I can make? Can I make that jump? Let's see. I Jumping required ahead. And can I... Uh-huh! Okay, nice. Smithing stone six and a stone sword key. Oh, all right. It... It's not nothing. But... It... There can't be that many more things I actually need a stone sort of key for. Old thing. Hmm. Goes through, and there should be dogs around this area if I recall correctly, but I should also be a side of grace in there. I believe. It would make sense. I. Hmm. Maybe I will stick with. 
Body Helix right now, even if Slashing is theoretically better, the Reach could be nice here. Actually, what I should do is just use Lightning. Yeah. Yeah. I have no interest in fighting the dogs fair and square. They're too annoying for that. Where are the other dogs? We have... What? What do we have? This is not a way to get down to the Miranda Flower area. It's not even geographically contiguous in that sense. Oh, hello, hi. And... Thanks. Go ahead, just keep barking. I will shock you in the meantime. Oh, and we can use this to get over on one level of the Fortified Manor. This is also theoretically a way to get on the branches, but you can also get here from the... Yeah, this just leads down over there. Branches from there, branches from the Colosseum too, but getting up on that level is also the way to get down to Gronsax. You have to do a lot of running around, though, to make that work to get to the Radagon statue, though. Hmm. Annoying. So then, let's continue moving. Let's see what's in here. I oh, all right. Put that up and go up top. Okay. Try this out. See what I can find in here. I here again. So this level of the manor. Wondering what will show me that's a bit different, and this is, well, well, okay, this is, this is where Fia was, where Fia moved to and killed D. Couldn't go through that. It's interesting that going there, encountering there, is what eventually allows you to go to Landell through a deep root. Sanctified webway. That's where Hugh would be. And, oh, the hammer. Okay, large stone, a fixed foot metal hammer, originally a blacksmith's tool. Order of smithing said to originate among the giants. Striking attacks, the most ample weight behind that, and here's our wet blade. Physical or golden type, sacred or lightning chosen. Hmm. Golden type. The others would be classified as... I've been using Ashes of War any kind. Physical or magic type, flame type, golden type, occult type. Golden type. Mm -hmm. Here's Fia's room. What is that? The sea butlers? Can't be. What? Mmm. By my sword. And that. Okay, in Landell. In the fortified bedroom. And that. Oh, just a hero's room. Not even the clothes. Okay. Had a love, comfort. Hmm. Zoom like what Fia might have absorbed. Seems familiar, and. Here it is! Round table hold. Got a rune arc. Where that side of the race would normally be. Mm -hmm. Keep on checking. And where the two fingers were originally in the round table hole, instead we have a prayer book. No, not a prayer book, but the coated sword. Wasn't there another prayer book in here? It's somewhere. In sword, once granted to the tarnish of the round table by the two fingers, form a cipher comprises its blade, which Deals holy damage no sword can repel. Chains would gather around table hold and days long past, and the two figures were masters of a rage in their flesh it full of vigor. Look the blade, but the light extending length, sudden swooping attack cannot be blocked. Hmm. Once granted. Formless cipher. It's a bit like the cipher powder then. But a little different. So Smithing Stone 5 and Friend, yep, yeah, that was where Azure was originally, so we can evade Vargrim and 
Sorcerer Wilhelm over there eventually, but not yet. Oh, hello. Could this be an enemy? Yeah. Okay. So this is... Pearl Calling Finger Remedy. Nothing really all that much there, but... Is there a grace in here then, or... Mm -hmm. And yep, where the location of the Dung Eater is a seedbed curse. What is interesting is how we got corpses there too. Four, and I believe we need six in total. Either way, I can't do it. Complete his quest until I go to the Halo Tree. Go down through here. Link back around, hopefully get me a grace, but... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I messed that up. Because now I need to go back out entirely to get that. Shouldn't take too long, but... Yeah, so the stairs are inaccessible. You have to... To get to the top level, you have to go in from the side. Okay. It's a good amount of stuff. Sword A... Runark Hammer, that wet blade. That seabed curse. Number of unique things. Hmm. The prayer book is different, and yep, this shows you that you're supposed to be able to get up there. So, Nefeli. But also, we can loop around. This is where the Stone Sword Key door was originally, and this is. Two Fingers Prayer Book. Not the Assassins, but Two Fingers of Crepus. Right, because this is where we found that originally, I believe. Lord's Heal, Lord's Aid, Interested Tarnish, Worthy of Lordship. Oh, hi! And, oh, there you are. And you're over here, and... It's not seem like there's anything, much of anything in here, but... Behold, food. Because this is where the Assassins Prayer Book was originally, I believe. Okay. Let's go over to where I'd want to find Vargram and Wilhelm. I think I can find a side of grace before that. Alberic set. Oh, yeah, because this is where he invaded. Rob Racer's trousers. That is. A woof yet disturbed heretical soldier said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during the service of the Round Table Hold long ago. Red Gwentzones, formed by the Blood of Sacrifices, strengthens Thorn Sorcery. Heretical Practitioner. So everything but the Trousers increases Thorn Sorcery damage, it seems. Everything but... Hmm. Can I find myself a Cyto Grace? Stop behind, therefore seek item. What item would that be? This is the... Okay, well, alright. Smith and Stone 5. Hmm. Continue onward, and here's our side of the race and another painting. Okay. This is the flightless bird painting. That would be Watchtower and then that external gate. We line that up. Somewhere around Dominula then. Maybe over there, actually. <clears throat> Otherwise, there's not much in that area. Four. But of course, there's also the need to go through there. Presume that also leads to that courtyard with the abductor virgins. Let's go riding and presume we find that it has to be in Dominola. I would presume. We're in one of these cliffs. Nah, no, maybe not this one, though. Okay, and... That is... Pretty damaging, but okay. Quab ones, logically, are stronger. Oh, and there you are. Hello. What you gonna drop? You got... Fire's Deadly Sin. Oh yeah, this sucks. Here we himself ablaze with the raging flames. Deeply ominous prophecy. 
Blazers of the Raging Flames engulfed in flame for a while, burning them and any who draw near, charging Anza's potency. He despaired, looking at the Ur Tree, seeing the kindling burst into flame, bringing ruin. Burning the Ur Tree is the first cardinal sin, that is not the domain of mere men. Well, we can deal with that when the time comes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go and take out Vargrim and his friend. How am I going to get in the other side, then? That's the question. A way to, presumably... Can I just open this? Yeah, I can just open it. Okay. Cool. So, in that case... Do that after we go through there, and this is... Ah, oh, interesting. So, Weber, but you don't have the right... Somehow you managed to get... The other way you could use that to open it up, I think. Interesting. Vargrim the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm's World. Sure. I think I will. So then I will. Oh, and there they are, which means. Oh, and we're invading with Bernal. Well, that's fun. Okay. Oh, Night Comet. Alright. Vargrim and. Let's just use this and. Oh, he's got. God Slayer's Great Sword, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Let's get rid of the. Oh my goodness, alright, and get up. Dodge and get up. And move back in and. Oh my goodness, I. Okay. Seven. Well, alright. Can I. Mm, stars are ruined. That's kinda crazy. And can I. Sub, stab, sub. Thank you for that. Let's do ground. One, two, and. Oh, alright. Okay. Go in and can I one mm. Oh you ain't got anything left. How sad. See has got the devour scepter there and there we go. Easy enough. And one or darker two. We did it. Surprised he didn't use a skill and what seal does he have? Is that golden order seal? Maybe. It seems formless. And Raging Wolf set. And no rune arc? Okay. Huh. Raging Wolf grieves, Vargrim the Raving Wolf, Raging Wolf, one of the first charged to visit the Round Table Hole. According to the old legends, wolves are the shadows of Empyrean. This is what Vargrim aspired to be. White Wolf's mane that decorates its, decorates his home. Well, before any of that, I suppose I will take down the abductor virgins in this area. Alright, and there's, there's not that much left in here. It's a nice thing. Hello then, hello. We got this to do. And can I... Okay, I... Oh, well, alright. Thanks. And another lightning spear will do it. Okay. So is there another in here? Yeah, there's another in here. Alright, cool. Thanks. And... Okay, I... Dodge. Can I... Another? Mmm, okay. Mm. And... Let's keep on tossing it. Oh, of course you... Alright. Thanks. And one more, and there we go. It was not much trouble. Okay. So what is over in this part of the courtyard? We got... Oh, a Stormhawk Axe. Okay. There's a Bullhawk, wings surprising the blade. Weapon warriors who strive to remain one with the storm, despite being so far from their place of birth, their hearts are proud and thereby easily undone. Hmm. Thunderstorm with both lightning, swing it around, tempestuous lightning storm. Additional input, perform up to two spinning attacks. Lightning will stay on the blade for a while. It doesn't have innate lightning damage. I wonder if it would scale the damage of the skill if you actually gave a, give it a lightning infusion. Well, I'm not sure you can. It's butterfly, and around this way. Can't go out over there, but Somberstone 6, that's okay. I... There's not a Somberstone 9 in the area, I don't think. Hmm. So then. There's another Black Knife Assassin up top after Godfrey. Which means, I want to equip Karin Greatsword, actually, because that Karin Greatsword makes Black Knife Assassins an absolute joke. 
<clears throat> you can just pin them down and keep spamming it. Well, this is that bridge from before. Hmm. Let's see. On top of the giants, and is that? Does it look like the forge? It might be the final church, actually. Maybe. Well, okay. Not really all that much of my business. Instead of falling down to our depths, we, depths, we can use that Iran Tower to teleport now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look. We've been here before. Divine Bridge, and now we should be able to teleport over. And it... Now it's active. As we've actually been to Landell normally. Fun. Well, it might have been having to activate that elevator that triggered it being interactable. Who knows? Here we are, the isolated Divine Tower, and... This is one of the the only location in the overworld, I think, where Farm Azula actually gets loaded in. You can see that tornado over there. You can see a lot of things over here. You can see up to mountaintops of the giants. You can see the bowl of the forge over the chain linking it to the central part. And it doesn't open yet. It's that we've walked shut. Alright. Cool. Come back in a bit, eventually. But in that case, the only thing left. Well, first, I need to actually collect my reward from Bernal. And most of the rest are gone. So we beat Old Knight Isvan, Rally the Idol, Bargram, and Wilhelm, and Raidhorn Tregos. So the only thing left is now. Well. Juno Haza, and then we can kill Rikard. Thanks. I have the reward from Lady Tanner. All right. Take it. It's yours. I write. That is. Oh, Gelmir's fury. Let us tread the path of the recusant together. Okay. Till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Mm. You still alive? So I. Well. So we meet again. That is... Okay, Surge of Magma from the Earth, developed from Mag Galmir, covering the area, extends the Surge of Magma, Fury of the Volcano. Arrogance of attempting to harness it is slowly that of men and serpents. Hmm. So that wards heal and wards aid. Hmm. That would be a cure-all and a massive heal. But, get down here. Well, I suppose we'll go to the rampart and then start climbing the branches. Not much else to do. Put on the Woodhound's Fang again then. And set out on our merry way. Hmm. So we did level up the Giant Crusher. It will be usable when I feel like using it. But it's... I don't need any more. Oh, we did we get its? We did get its envoy horn. That's fun. But a holy damage or racket or bubble, golden horn of the oracle envoy, is profoundly weighty. Its blows are sure to be felt. Usually an instrument, one that cannot be sounded by a mere human. Perhaps it's too early to sound the call. Horn releases magic bubble, floats gently through the air towards its target, and there's also the bubble shower and great oracular bubble skills on connected weapons. All right, well, they're over here. Noble Gord Mask, Gold Mask, Gord Mask, Gold Mask. Swap Corin. Go over and take out those guys. Nice and quick, just rushing through and, oh, well, we did not hit initially. All these guardians can go and die. Okay, thank you. All right, and can I, yep. They don't see all that well. That just leads up to the fight with Goldfree. 
So now we can go down to where that Miranda flower is and then be able to get some more incantations as well by getting another book to give to Corin. Oh, so that does not quite work. You have to go down the side then, work your way up because that blocks the way back. It's a one-way drop ledge. Okay, and well, goodbye corpse. When are you gonna unload? Oh, it just ragdolls and off. Now I can't see it anymore. I feel kinda bad. Kinda. Okay, and this is where that ragdoll then. How much stronger are these going to be than the ones in the Shunning Grounds? These Miranda Flowers and okay, well, alright. Thank you. Keep on. Oh, but there the big flower is Was there a big flower? I don't even know. Well, whatever. Let's take this, and it's just a smithing stone six. It kind of predictable. Mm -mm. So Godfrey is weak to lightning and piercing. Bloody Helix is fun, but it's more of a PvP weapon, or more of a weapon for engaging humanoid enemies than... Because if things won't stagger, you kind of get in trouble. Hmm. You know, maybe I could actually use Serpent Hunter as a piercing weapon. It is a great spear. It's a pretty great, great spear. It's somber, which is nice. And okay, dodge that, but oh my goodness, I didn't see. The poison cloud actually kept me from seeing. Oh, with an item. That early flower. No, Guardian Garb. Had that already, didn't I? Well, whatever. So, let's go down here. Get maybe an item. Enemy ahead. And yeah, an item ahead. But anything of real note or just holy grace. Okay, cool. Oh, but. Eh, okay. What if I keep going? Will this give me anything special or. Oh, this is just something I didn't see going up that way the first time, so nothing actually new. Hmm. I guess I could try. I could try Helix. Maybe. I could also not do that. I. As compared to Body Helix. Hmm. That. Hmm. 501 versus. There, there is decent difference, is the thing. And if I two-hand it, it... Well, it's okay. Five... I mean, four, fifty-seven versus... Yeah, that's more damage and by a meaningful amount, but... Well, let's just try it. Yet, he's slower, which means I could probably make things work, but still... Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's buff up. Alright. Blessing Spoon. Golden Vow. Flint grant me. And then... Rail, and we should be fine. Hello, oh, Gold Free. Hi, and... Take and... Oh, well, I... Alright. Thanks. I... Okay. Ah, okay. Well... Interest oh, interesting. Teal and nice and decently slow, which is actually a good thing for me, but I cannot Oh my Okay, alright. Do dodge it. Mm -hmm. Got okay. Mm -hmm. Let's stab it. Dodge and cannot stab, stab and okay. Dodge and cannot. Thanks and one, two, three, and this is actually pretty good, and I Need to know when. Okay. okay. Mm. All right. And oh my goodness. Well, it. At least I'm rather strong. I. Uh, okay. Can I dodge and can I stop? Okay. Mm. You know the end of his chain is the thing. Thank you. I. Uh, all right. Thanks. Sometimes he'll throw his axe, won't he? I. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. And can I, thanks. Uh, dodge. 
Dodge and yeah. slap. Okay. I stab. Okay. Oh, interesting. Quick stab and well, it that was a scuffed fight. Body Helix is definitely a PvP weapon. Talisman pouch. There we go. And now we can have four talismans. Finally. Took that long. So what would I even... Honestly, Great Jar would be pretty decent. I could use full Bulgo now. Without any real trouble. Okay, it... Looks kind of stupid, though. It... I actually hate how this looks. Well, I... <sighs> it... Are there any... It's the heaviest, non-stupid looking armor I have. <laughs> I... You know, I could use this to maybe ensure a light load eventually, but... Hmm. What then do I... What's it do is decent. Honestly, Green Turtle. That helps. So up top over there is going to be Golden Order Principia in that chair over there. You can see the item glow a little. Okay. There be joy. Alright. So let's memorize. Let's just make a mad old dash over and use Kari and Greatsword to take one of those guys down. Hmm. If we go up top over there. Yeah, you can take a Black Knife Assassin out and then come back later to do more things. That'll be okay. Yep, and there is a bit more to fight. All of these finger readers just dead and gone. Okay, Golden Vow. Now we can car and greatsword you to death. Okay, cool. Thanks, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, fine by me. That's the power of stone locking. Blessing of the Urgery and that is quite good, but I don't have the faith for it right now. Greater Blessing, but actually, I might want that equipped anyway. And then I would be able to briefly swap in a talisman to cast it. Before a fight, and then swam back. It's part of the buff routine. And, well... Oh, nothing to say right now. So that... 30 versus... Blessings Boon. I did not mean to do that. Just see. So, Blessings Boon versus Blessing the Ur Tree. Ancient Ur Tree, Tears from the Ur Tree. We have a remnant of power. Greater Blessing. Gradually restoring a large amount. Once worshipped with abundance, and it was only for a fleeting moment, such is the course of all life. Great heal. Heal, great heal. Did I get that again? Great heal. Elden Ring. Right, just from Corin. Right, okay. Which means, which means should take. No, not that. It was Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me, and which I might end up replacing with Black Flame's Protection once I get once I get access, which to be fair won't be for a while. And then Grail, Grail's Roar. And then we have number of. Damaging incantations in Starlight. Lightning Spear. Black Flame. Litany of Proper Death. And... What was the other one that I had before? Right, Pest Threads in Starlight. 
just for anything that I might run into. Minimize the chances of dying. Alright, cool. Hmm. Decent options here. Hmm. How then? How then? Now we want to go back to Erdtree Sanctuary. Just kill Godfrey. Get Golden Order Principia and then buy a few incants from Coronet Gold Mask. Right. Use that. Thank you. Keep on looking around. We'll have to get to the top. It. All these dead finger readers. That is rather sad. Holy grease. Hmm. There's some other things in the area that I need to pick up first, though. I don't think there'll be much. Besides, it's. I don't use weapon buffs, and if I did, I would be using. Order's Blade instead, but no item. Hmm. These big bas basins give the impression a little, in my opinion, of the... <sighs> I don't know, maybe they're collecting Flaceteers, but it is interesting how there's this little Gita up that will be important later. Not right now. It's a surprise tool that will hurt us later. Let's just check that and... Get just a Somberstone 5, okay. Down over this way is... This leads down to... Where we would get the statue as well as... Bolt of Grand Sacks, so... What's this? That is death. That is certain death. Okay. I'm wondering how I can weed things around this way, but let's activate this first. Figure stuff out, see if I can get a faster way back, because I do need to go to the Coliseum. Alright then. That, mm, that would probably be death if I tried to make that jump. Here's a statue. Always confusion. Goodness. We have the statue of Radagon. Hello, Radagon. And do I have my hmm. no message here yet? Should say regression reveals truth or something. Maybe. I could make a script stone. Just to see. Just use that thing. Sure. And actually not... Ah, there we go. And seek unfathomable sword. But maybe it won't be until we actually have Law of Regression. We'll see. This down here is a way to... Hello. Alright. And just... Move in, and there we go. The damage is still strong, but... Holy Grease, and... That was beneath it then, or maybe from somebody or something that killed. Not that perfumer killed. Let's continue on our merry way. Oh, I hear... Oh, another scarab. Alright. Hmm, but... Oh, and there is... A crucible knight. Okay. Well, I can engage you like this. No real reason not to. Flame grant me. Rails roar. And can we... There we go. And... Oh, well, all right. Thanks. Take that out. And... Cool. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, then. Head up. And... This should be... Decent option. I dodge and cannot. Thanks and. Mm. Okay. Interesting then. Luckily, it, it's not like they're all that strong at this point. Goodbye. Should lead to the location of. Bolt of Grand Sacks, but. 
I let's just use Alabaster Wood Sword then. Should be how I can keep it from escaping and ah barrier of gold, which greatly increases magic damage negation for casting nearby by allies. Continue praying, delay activation, champions of the Earth Tree, first and second Lyrian Wars, during which the red haired Radagon joined the hero's ranks. Which is interesting. Because I don't think there is that much left in the game that deals a meaningful amount of magic damage. Well, actually, the only thing I can think of would be... Oh. Dragon. Borealis, the Freezing Fog. This is how we have to get to... Bolt of Grand Sex, then. Alright. Let's go down, pick the thing up. Then, okay, we can pick that up, too. Alright, and here's our legendary weapon. Oh, come on. Here we have it, Bolt of Ground Sacks. Hmm. It's over here, then. And, oh, just a stone sword key. Alright, Ancient Lightning Spear. Spear whittled from the weapon wielded by Ground Sacks. One of the legendary armaments, Great Ancient Dragon. Ground Sacks once reigned rain calamity upon the royal capital. The only time in historical record that Landil's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of the war against the ancient dragons. Ancient lightning spear and with the red lightning throws a spear charge to increase power. All right then. Mm -hmm. In that case, I suppose I will try to find a site of grace to rest at and escape this accursed place. Wait, this is right, this is the Avenue Balcony, which means well, the Avenue Avenue Balcony should be right by then. Okay, so we can buy a good number of incantations. Good number of decent incantations from Corner. Oh, right, I need to go and actually pick up Golden Order Principia first, and then I can go to the Colosseum and talk to them. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Gotta work our way around up top. Should be fine. Mm. This goes up top here, but again, that branch and get Principia. We need to do a little bit more working around. Do some rooftop jumps. That. Don't think that goes where I need it to. Well, we'll see. Mm hmm. Well, it was a valiant effort. Oh, but I can also just link that back around. Okay, never mind. It's all right. Mm -hmm. So this then should be a way to get inside from here. Right, that. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Can't do much with an invisible wall holding you back. We go up top, get Principia, some other items, I think. We'll be good. Mm -mm. Okay. Over there, that golden throne. You see that big design, the way into the Urgery. Hmm. -mm. Well, that'll be fun. I can make that work. Okay. Go over this way, then. Side ends. I guess it would be nice to be able to see a little better in here. Cool. So, what's inside? This is... Ah, the Urtree Bow, as opposed to the Great Bow, which we got in the dungeon in the starting area. Virtue selling, times of old faith and battle went hand to hand, great and ten with the golden arrow, all arrow damage with faith. True worth when used with holy infused arrows. Alright. And we can kick this down, actually, now that I really need to get back. I guess it's for if you mess up the jump to Golden Order Principia or something. Maybe. Okay. Hmm. And I just pick it up from here. Oh, and I Bit of a Landell design, Golden Order Principian. Why are you there? 
This would be a prayer book of the Golden Order Fundamentalist, dense and complex academic treatise that contains the Order's fundamental principles. But I got in Springs of Light and Law of Regression. Use that to solve that part of the quest. And then, of course, we'll move on eventually. We'll move on. We can take on Morgoth. That'll be a slashing damage opportunity. So we gotta go over to the Coliseum again real quick. Should be fine for Dawn Gauntlets. And try not to fall off. Part of me does actually want to try getting that hammer. Duelist hammer, battle hammer, and so a rotten battle hammer. But yeah, you can't get it after beating Malekith as the duelists go away. Hmm. Armor and its wearer alike. Let's work our way up here. Just try that out. May as well take those guys down. May as well. Cool. Let's roar. And... He got knocked down, fun. Okay, and just swing and should begin for another slash. There we go, cool. For another grail. And the other guy. Just for fun, really. Hello then, hello. Cool. And just like that. Like that, and then we switch and slash and move back. And this one does seem a little weaker, honestly. Oh, and we got your battle hammer, fun. Got a full combat, dual sex of Coliseum, waiting on to crush armor, it's, armor, it's burr like. Default is Braggart's Roar, which is otherwise on Boggart's stuff. Alright, so let's give them a couple of books and learn about what's really up with Radagon and America. Okay. Free Glass Shard. Hmm. Alright then. Is that you? Still cease. Sway by now of all times. The Radagon, Master Stone, still name discovered, could it really be? Almost come to you know, on the very cusp. Her book, Two Fingers, Work of Heresy. Winning Edge, why are the Two Fingers? Heresy. Who can to help my master? Principium, Volume of Incantation. Okay. Can get Lord's Heal. Tarnished or tarnished, circle the ear tree, stand for America's Queen, become the Elven Lord. Lord's Aid, Poison Bold while sleep below. But not Scarlet Rotten, Cures Poison. Can you pray? Delay activation. Then, Radagon's Rings of Light, Incantations of Golden Lord of Fundamentalists, Grift of Gratitude to the Young Mikola from his father, Radagon. Golden Ring of Light, fires it across a wide area, charging enhances range, and yet, Young Mikola abandoned fundamentalism for it could do nothing to treat Melania as a cursed rot. This was the beginning of unalloyed gold. <laughs> okay. Since we already made a plus 10 weapon, I don't imagine that Hugh will have anything new to say, honestly. When we make another plus 10, maybe. It's a good one, actually. It's useful. High faith and in requirements. I could probably use that in lieu of proper death, maybe. Law of regression, heals all elements, dispels all special effects. Fundamentals, reveals mimicry in all its forms. Fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Regression is the pull of meaning that all things yearn eternally to converge. What's fun is that it's only got an intelligence requirement. Okay. Cool. So in that case, we gotta go back from the Sanctuary to... ...that statue, and then we can tell them the secret. But he's a talisman to get inside, though. But first, I can actually get a level, so that's nice. 
Get a bit more vigor. Memorize and sure we'll put on. Well, of regression right now. Just for now. Don't really need causality, which is also only intelligence. So we'll. Well, of regression. Can't cast it, we need. Stargazer heirloom or anything else to increase intelligence to make it work. That's fine. 268 incant scaling. Let's put on the Stargazer Heirloom, which is of course Renala. Now we can cast this. How exciting. And we do have a funny typos, which is fun. Hmm. Let's get down there again. Right, I can do it from that level, I think. Let's just see. So I, well, well, I'm getting turned around again. Oh, right, I have to go down from up top. Oh, goodness, goodness me. But at least I'll be able to go to Mountaintop soon, do the Hosla, and then probably kill a Rykard today. It's not a big problem then. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, so we get back around, we pop down to over there, work our way back to a place where we can, oh right, it was that part of the sanctuary, so to go out in the front normally. I am definitely slipping. I think over here, or, oh, we'll see. Go down and pull that lever. And check out the rest of this. Yeah, we don't have Starlight right now. Silly. Put this down. And then we will. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Out this way, and. For any of those perfumers, we can just check this out. Hello. And incantation ahead. So you can fathom what we'll sort. Try this out and will this do I have to be closer? Gotta have to be closer. And did that hit it and reveal? It did not reveal Merica. Huh. I do I have to get up top or don't imagine. Strange. Yeah, because it's law of regression. We did it, but. Huh. I. Very strange. Maybe I have to kill Morgoth first. It. It's possible. Because it might be hidden by him. Maybe. Before any of that, let's switch some stuff out. Let's put Starlight back on for now. Yeah, okay. We can go and make that work, presumably. Hmm. So, two fingers heirloom. Some of this get started on the fight with Morgoth. Should be fun. I could use the shackle. I might. Melina. Eh, no. You can, you can chill. Every whittle. Bit of advantage we'll take. Did not use Moog Shackle against either Moog though. It it's interesting how I look a little different. Hmm. Golden magic. The golden magic one is bloodstained. Okay. Makes sense. Let's equip two fingers to cast that buff. And can I? Alright. Cool. And then back on turtle thank you and golden vow when grand me and and we have grail it's time for the fight cool cutscene
him again. Just claim them. Now craft it, the golden. Get some respect there. Between prodigies, Mikola and Milady. Yodel, strain in his voice there. General Bradan. Praetile Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. But not Rani the Witch. For so all of them by their traitors. Honor oh. name, but willful traitors. Thy kind are all of a piece. And just like that cane sword we found, Pages emboldened by the flame of ambition. Yep. By that sword. It's a fun little nighttime battle. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. Right. Use that shackle, and there we are. Rails roar. Cool. Okay, I'm alright then. I. Hmm. Okay, cool. Use that shackle again, and. Here we are, now we can just... One, two, and... Oh my goodness, this is pretty ludicrous damage. Can I skip that phase at all? I cannot. Okay. Alright. Let's use some of this then. Oh, okay. Thanks. Omen power and... Mm -mm. And, okay, I, oh, all right. Dodge. Dodge. Thank you. And, and I, slam it. Okay, oh, all right. Well, one more, one more should do it. And, crush. There we are. That was simple. Yeah, I figured we'd be a bit overpowered for this one. We were. Great rune and remembrance of the Omen King. All right. Cool. Though born one of the graceless omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Urger's protector, loved it not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless loved he loved it he did. Excuse me, loved it he did. It's Altus, Grand Bridge from Wayndell's Eastern Ward. Alright. Same one as Moog. No, he's just a guy. Hmm. Probably we could have not killed him. Pretty cool. Alright. And we can't weave just yet. Cannot even teleport out. Before we can weave, we must check some things. We need to try and fail to go inside. Some light would be nice. Some lovely rainfall. Let's go inside, or more accurately, fail to get inside. And there it is. Touch of the wall of thorns, impenetrable thorns, refuse all, none may enter the herb tree. Now the grace is available, and no one will discuss with us, and that's a somewhat sad location for him to have fallen. Alright. Rest at the side of grace. Well, I guess he's gone now. Oh, and the throne is back. Hello. Again, old friend. Hello. Allow me a moment to 
What if I said no? You were unable to enter the Erd Tree. No? Prevented by the mantle of bars. Yep. The thorns are impenetrable. Mm -hmm. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. By eating them first? Oh. Serves to aid in that very purpose. So I'd like you to undertake a new quest. You present you a new quest. With me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. All right. Then I can set the earth tree aflame. Okay. And guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. A gold medallion. Red mark on the map. I wish to journey with you. Once Welcome back. To the flame of ruin. Far above the clouds. Upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the earth tree aflame and guide you. Okay. Well, let's level up another time. Yep, and actually do this another time, and the mind is honestly good. Always nice to have a little bit more FP. Okay, cool. So, that's all. And where did Morgoth's corpse go? Rolled medallion, grand lift of rolled, join split medallion. It's picking the flame peak, but it's never in parts, because... This is just the end. Kind of rush. Branch to medallion. Activates a grand left of roll. Connecting the Wayne Delton Mountain Tops of the Giants. Forge of the Flame of Ruins said to be found upon their peaks. Here it is here, Melton, which is traveled and resuming your journey together. And yep, Elden Throne. And where is. Oh, his corpse was shoved unceremoniously behind the throne. Okay. The rolled route. And now that should be openable, but... It's a frenzied flame prescription, but... I don't think I'll go there right now. I want to see briefly if... I can actually... Reveal what's going on. Now. Let's make it... More daytime. Okay. Then... Put on law of regression again. Okay, cool. Gonna have to use some stuff to actually use that. That's fine. Put on the Stargazer Talisman. And Stargazer Heirloom Talisman. What happened? Did you die? Welcome back. But we're going to the snowy mountaintops now. We fought the King of Landell, who... Well, I already knew it, but... It was just Margit under the name Morgoth, which was funny. He turned his cane into a sword, which is arguably foreshadowed by... The cane sword that we got before. And... Which one? And I... It's not actually working. That's weird. I mean, in the end, they're... People. Maybe not normal people. Oh, well. Alright. Well, I probably don't know them. I mean, there, there are a lot of K-pop groups. But... Well, of regression should be able to activate, change that statue around. It's just not working. Regression not working. Not working on the statue and no effect. Game language to running with it in offline mode. Not having enabled glitches the quests. 
In offline mode, okay. Okay, well. Everyone loves Italians, I guess. So I suppose we need to try putting it in offline mode? Maybe. Let's see. And... Okay. Come on. Come on. And... Oh... Can I put it in offline mode from here? It... One setting in offline. So let's restart that because apparently offline mode makes it work. Well, honestly, what makes it weird is that honestly, you would expect them. You wouldn't expect a K-pop person to have a K-pop performer to really have a social life outside of maybe the other people in their group at most. Honestly, given how. Draconian it always intends to be. So hopefully having it in offline mode will make it work. Well is in Well, I know that a lot of them aren't allowed to have boyfriends or girlfriends, but they're not even allowed to have friends publicly. That I, I hate South Korea so much. And it still didn't work. Mm. It, huh? Huh? What? Okay, is this just hopelessly glitched? But it, I just figure they wouldn't have time to in to interact with anybody other than the people in their group. Well, that just doesn't work. That's really, really weird. Hopefully they put out a bug fix, because there are a lot of bugs right now in the game. Hmm... There's a bug while we're beating a boss in co-op multiplayer makes the game mistakenly believe that you killed the final boss, actually. Which is kind of crazy. Mm hmm. Hmm. have to find the message, Regression Reveals Secrets, before it works. And that's the thing, is that... How, how much money does it even make, then? Because... I can't, I can't imagine there would be any real amount of money that would make it entirely worth it, is the thing. Which is... Oh, and that one is... Okay, Regression Alone Reveal Secrets. Now we can do it. Now we can do it. And did that... That still did not make it work. Fair. But... Interacted with it, but... Oh, you have to do it from here. Oh, that's weird. And now it, as you can see, it turned into a statue of Merica instead. Because Radagon is Merica. And that. Yay! Yay, we finally did it. Okay. And now you can turn it back. No, you can't turn it back. Okay. Yeah, but to be fair, that ties into something I've said before, which is that th there's a certain point where you end up sort of having to spend on exorbitant things 
to justify to yourself how much time you spend making money. It If you have no free time but make a lot of money, eventually you start making purchases like that just to justify it to yourself. Well, yeah. But what I mean is just... If they don't do stuff like that, the money is just going to sit around doing nothing, and it's... You know, in theory, they could invest it and retire early and have a very comfortable retirement. Maybe a, maybe a modest one, but it... It... If it was just about meaning, it wouldn't have had to have been a Cartier ring. It... Part of it was definitely being meaningful, but I assure you that part of it was also just... To an extent, a need to justify having that money. Fair, but... Still, I... I, th I think you understand what I'm trying to say, is that... After a certain point... You just of having a lot of money. You need to... Eventually, a lot of people need to spend on things just to justify the time they spend to make that money. Because after a certain point, you know, once you can have enough to save for rainy days and buy necessities reliably, it... Money just becomes a number. But... So now we can tell them. Is that you? Still seeing? Still hanging out at all times. And tell him that Radagon is America. Yep. Mm. Golden Order Totality. Mm. What on earth did you do to the Master? Told him the truth. Not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than good enough for me. I haven't the words to thank you. Mm. So I'd like to pass this on to you instead. Ah. Uh. Biting is interesting. That is... Ah, uh, okay. Immutable shield. The left hand shield is defending an ailment resistance. Light of regression. Two concepts based for Golden Order Fundamentalism. One is a lot of regression to which this incantation relates. And we've given him most of the available incantations, but there should be two more prayer books to get. Interesting. How would such a thing even have been possible, I wonder? Sadly, I cannot comprehend it myself. Do you have a fuller understanding of the matter? Who knows? Well, see my documentation. Matters little whether I understand or not. Scribe sought and wavering purpose. All right. Hmm. So eventually, he will go crazy. But for now, we want to return to the roll route where I went a little bit previously. Yeah, gotta go down the elevator, work my way around there. Go up, take on a few enemies. There's Nets Cavalrymen right over there, and. Oh, you're still here. Make adjustments. Strip on your dreams, but oh, that's right, I can also go and. It. There's, there's not that much of a difference there. I think... So now I should be able to maybe... Nefeli should be out of the table now and we can turn him, turn her into the Queen of Limgrave, I think. Well, what I mean is, the only people who care about male height are very, very short men and women. Okay. Ancient Storm, first talk, so we need to talk to Kenneth Height then. Okay. Keep on going. See how this works. 
How does this work? Let's keep on going. It generally, if hierarchies exist in a male friend group, it's not just decided by who's the biggest and strongest. Okay, let's keep on going. Come on, continue, and... Thank you. Oh, ooh, alright. So he should be in search of a new ward now. Oh, I did not expect him to jump up like that. Okay. So we can just get rid of all these demi-humans then. Just want to see... Hmm. This will explode that. Which is what it is. So you should be talking now. Should be interested in a new ward. Search for hey, stalwart ward proper lineage. Take the reins of Wimgrave. So that might move him to Stormvale now. Now he's still there, so maybe I need to activate the rolled lift. It's possible. Let's just keep on going. Okay. Well, because a lot of people do talk about that. It is a pretty common thing for people to say. Okay. I mean, you know very well how obsessed people get with the idea of human alphas when, when wolf packs don't even work like that. Not even wolf packs actually work like that. Oh, fair. It... I think, arguably... I think it is important to understand that... A lot of... The social aspects... I agree. It does not change the fact that a lot of people do think like that. But, as I was saying... I, th I think it is important that to recognize that a lot of what they say and do is for the camera, even when they're not actively performing, as I'm sure you're aware, that in K-pop and a lot of sort of idol or idol-adjacent performance industries, there, there, there's a certain level of business gay, if you catch my drift. I think you know what I'm talking about. So now we can go over into the Forbidden Lands and let's avoid those guys. Well, they... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So how and... Well, you are surprised... Oh my goodness. Stop dodging! Stop dodging! Okay. Thanks. So how far are they going to follow me in here? Because I need to wait for this elevator to come back down. Hmm. Well, luckily they're going back now, so I can just wait for this. And if that isn't a long time. Hmm. One of the elevators, I think it's the hidden path of the Halo Tree elevator. It... Goes to... Well... Maybe they do, and maybe it's an image they attempt to convey. It... Because uh, there, there, there's a big difference between... Just... Straight guys making, g you know, gay jokes at each other. And... What a K-pop group would generally do. And I don't mean mean the sense of one is homophobic and the other is not. I mean, there's a difference. And Sam, there we go. Got you over there. Cool. Gilded foot soldier cap. And okay, we can take on that horse, that rider. Hello, then. Hi. One, 
two, three, four, and oh, all right. I, ooh, die. There we go. Should have timed that dodge a little bit better. Invigorating what cured me. I hear a scarab somewhere, but where is my actual... Where's the grace going to be here? Got you. Stab. Oh my goodness. I okay. Stab and... Oh, I... Right. Okay. Oh my goodness. And it's actually somewhat aggressive. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... What is that going to give me? It... Somber Smithing Stone 6. Not worth it. Yeah. It's more of a... What happened in combat. So it would be more of a Digimon evolution than a Pokemon evolution then. So the Forbidden... We see East Altus. We see Forbidden Lands, which is part of Mountaintops. But maybe I want to run through and get the map first then. Hmm. Bloodstain. I don't even... I never even played Digimon. You also have literally no business calling me a nerd. Get off your high horse. Oh, interesting. Why? Also, when we get close over here, should be a boss fight against some Omen Twins, and yep, right over there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. Okay. They're gonna show up now then, so let's use a couple of buffs. Which reminds me a bit of a headless, actually. I can kind of see them over there. Use that, switch to the other talisman. Take on those omen. Okay. We just got teleported. Fun. Not really. And then that. Blend brand me, and then we have grails. Should be able to find. Fell twins. Alright. Where are they? Oh, over there. Cool. Alright. Thanks, and blow you up, I suppose, and, hmm, all right, and can I, John, John, oh my, what, huh, okay, oh, come on, luckily we didn't take that much damage, but I, and this is arguably sort of a reference to Morgoth and Moog, is the thing, okay, hello there, hi, and slash, and slash again, and now you're going to use some other attacks, or try to, but we can just take you down before that, if we're Smart. So you should have some kind of holy attack, I think. And, okay, well, alright. And slash and move in for another slash. Cool. Okay. Cool. And that. We've got Omen Killer Rollo. And then. That was interesting. But there were sort of representations of Morgoth and Moog. One with a sword, one with a with a blood incantation on it. Capital outskirts, Omen Killer, Rollo. First Omen Killer, famous perfumer, imbibed a physic to rid himself of emotion, enabling to hunt his night and act as nightmarish labor, hunting the omen. What a nice guy. Not really. Now we... Yeah, okay. You can see that outline a little of that bridge over there, but... It won't be until we... Okay, roll the root, and then the grand lift. But it's not until we get past there that we'll be able to actually get the map for Forbidden Lands and actually see what's going on. This is the Divine Tower of East Altus Gate. So is there more in the Divine Tower of East Altus in the gate? Now we can open this. And there would really be no reason we couldn't, because... You have to beat Morgoth to get through here anyway. Okay. There... There's a woman on Twitter who... Posts a lot of fan art of her... Elden Ring... OC... Her player character... In a romantic relationship with Margot slash Morgoth. It's actually really well made. I have a lot of respect... For her... Because Morgoth is kind of peak as a character. Hmm. So how then do we start and 
Hmm. Very foggy. Oh, because we're sort of at cloud level then, aren't we? I think. Either way, we can drop this Devon Tower, and it's rather close to the top of the Urge Tree, and you can see. Not down around. Hmm. Let's see. And you can see over to part of mountaintops, but the forge is behind some of that. It's a banner over there, and then of course Hosla over there. This is consecrated snowfield, so we can get these. Activate these great runes. Fun. Okay, and we do them separately, so we got Morgoth's. Morgoth's Great Rune, Great Rune Restored, and Moog's. So look a good deal similar. Because they're twins. Moog's Great Rune. Is it a Sterion then? Great Warriors is maximum HP. Anchoring House of the Base proves two things that the Omen King was born of the Golden Lineage and that he was indeed the Lord of Landell. Moog and Morgoth are twin brothers. Great Runes are naturally similar. Shardbearer Moog, busting a blood of summoned phantoms, imports a phantom Great Rune upon successful invasion, which can be used to give. Enemy is a buff and bonus damage when blood loss occurs. So, so, soaked in accursed blood from his devout love for the wretched Mire that he was born into far below the earth. Okay. So let's continue on our merry way. We have a bit more to go to, but we found all the Devon Towers. Oh, the Druid, Gale. I think I might be... I haven't played the game, so... And if people are talking about Baldur's Gate, they will, in almost all circumstances, mean Baldur's Gate 3 specifically. But what was cool is that I didn't even think about it, but that Landell Soldier is gone now. But when we went into the sort of dark void where that fight against the Fell Twins was, you saw a dead soldier. Well, actually, that soldier's back. Never mind. So I wonder... The item on that corpse is nothing of a special note, but I wonder if I've been able to get it otherwise, so. Thanks, and stab. There we go. Cool. Alright. Let's continue on into the Forbidden Lands. Seeing that this is sort of a segmented divine tower, maybe. Well, okay, let's keep on going. Got a few things to deal with. Hmm. Is this another? Well, that just goes back that way. So wait. Oh, I have to go. I have to go up the elevator. That's right. Oh no, I have to go down. You have to go down. Okay. Huh. So now we're going down into rolled. Any? Ooh, very arctic. A bit polar. Over here we have... Snow! Forbidden lands. Let's touch that grace. Let's add some stuff. Then let's memorize, and this is terrible. Let's try this one instead. Let's just see how this might work, and... It's a little faster, and also just... Presumably deals more damage, but there are a few things in this area, but before I really deal with that, I would prefer to rush on through and actually get the map by going up the lift, because this is a weird and complicated area. Not only do I not have a map, but it's pretty hard to see. It's a good thing we have a little path to show the way, but... It's a vulgar militia meant with bestial incantations, and apparently also supposed to be a knight's cavalryman somewhere around here. That, that's its own business. You can deal with that if they want. Hmm. Somewhere, somewhere. Oh, well, hello. Hi. Unfortunately, we don't really need you because we're just running past. Thanks. And oh, well, all right. Go ahead, use your beast claw. Thank you. And, oh, well. It's more of that then, and so how do I want to get up here? Oh, come on. I. Please, please, let me through. 
What is... Oh, a giant skull. Fun. That's... Somerstone 7. Okay, and... Another golden seed. Golden seed, and it... Blue cerulean scarab. Lots of scarabs in here. It's interesting. But we're decently close to... The lift, and... Yeah, all we had to do was run it. Oh, Black Blade Kindred is here. Well, we'll come back for you. Hi. That would be decent giant crusher fodder. Actually, I could just take that out along the way. After some of this. Hi. How about you leave? For now. Grand lift of rolled and... Oh, right, but a cult on the giant crusher prevents infusion anyway. Let's turn that into Star Scourge Heirloom so I can wield that thing now and just... Oh my goodness. Sure, the ugly pants. That's okay. That's fine. Let's try some of this out. I suppose we could... Blessing of the Urge re up for the sake of it. Just in the interest of not leaving anything to chance. Star Scourge, and then we buff up Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength, and Rails Roar, and then I'll need some stuff to replenish, but... Hi! Hello. Get over here. Swoop down. This should be time, so there we go. Let's just... Rush on in, but now we need some stuff, so... Can I? There we... Oh, well... Yeah, we actually managed to hit. That's good. Cool. And... There we are. So, okay. Interesting. Dodge and... Can I... One... Oh my goodness. This damage is ludicrous. I... Okay. Uh, I... Can I... Miss? I can miss. That's what I can do. Okay, cool. And... Over and... Oh, thanks. I... And, oh, interesting, okay. I, all right. And there we are. Strange. Yeah, I know. It's a good thing that doesn't happen, right? Gurgles, Black Blades, and Black Axe. Mark of those who serve Malekith a Black Blade. Black and Corpse Wax, Spinning Slash, okay. So that one's gone. Now we can go up to the top of Rolled. Get that map and then work my way back through Forbidden Lands. Okay, cool. Hello then. Read them, fingers or fingers. Turn back. I wonder where you got that joke from. Alright. Okay. So in that case, we can... Go up top real quick. Could also just... Could get one more level. Well, she's not entirely human, presumably. So... That's her deal. Hmm. Arcane? Sure, we'll take Arcane. Well, Endurance could also be nice. Or Equip Load 2. I... Thank you very much. How kind of you. Okay. We need to go through a good deal of mountaintops to actually get to... Consecrated Snowfield is the thing. What's that medallion? Can we get that map and turn back? But there's supposed to be a Knight's nice Cavalryman somewhere in there, so I'll go ahead and do that. So we got a yellow medallion. Time for the red medallion. 
little red gem in the medallion. But the big thing is that, kind of like how there was a path to Althus without the Dectus lift, their data mining shows that originally you would be able to access mountaintops through deep root depths. And I've waited a sequence break there, but it was caught, presumably, because of time constraints. And here we are. Going on up. Nice. And here it is. Above the clouds, the mountaintops of the giants. Somehow, even though we're above the clouds, there's still snow. I... Okay. You can even see a minor root tree. That's fun. But... Uh, outside this final snow level, should be able to find our map. On tops of the giants. Hmm. See a walking mausoleum over there, and also down into consecrated snowfield as well. That ghost animal. That is interesting. Huh. Doesn't take any damage. Huh. Okay, well, let's get that map. This is Mount Tops of the Giants West. Okay. This be a map? I don't know. Could it be? Western Mount Tops of the Giants, marching ground during the war against the Giants, caught winding past in the cliff walls right for the summit, leading to the untrodden snow laden region beyond. Tops of the Giants West, and so here we have it Forbidden Lands. I should probably find a side of grace up here first. Well, I, yeah, sure. There, that's Shibariri. Here, we can deal with them at a later date. Rest at the side of grace. This is more ruins. Okay. Got some things here, but I can't actually access this, which is the giant conquering hero's grave, until I come from the east side over here, which is going to be a thing. So Hoslo, Juno you know Hoslo, is over there. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. So to get that way, maybe I could. I'll not rush it, but do it relatively quickly. I think, let's see what it looks like when we go down the roll the lifts. And from there, I'll work my way backward. Through the Forbidden Lands. Something just fell. Alright. Let's go and... Now, this is also a place where we can... No, that's not a place where we can hoist the medallion. So, one side... Have to be here. Let's hoist that medallion. Alright. Cool. Yeah, so we gotta switch sides. Which makes sense, because it prevents you from accidentally triggering the cutscene a second time if you try to... If you're just tapping through when you come up or go down, you have to go to the other side to actively change direction. Okay. Cool. Go back down to the Forbidden Lands. Big ol' elevator. As one does, I suppose. And... Yep, here we are. And now I'm on the opposite side. Yep. Cool. Leads over to... Mountaintops. But of course, we'll just teleport. Those were knights, and these are also. No, knights versus old men, yeah. Old men on one side, knights on the other. The time right now is evening, so we can make it night proper. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, 
Giant Crusher could work decently on, maybe. Some of the Knights Cavalrymen, the stance damage should be ridiculous. I'm gonna try that one time. Till Nightfall, thank you. Just being able to stagger them would be very convenient. Okay. So let's work our way through. Try to find the location I need to go to. And not there. Hmm. It's it's pretty. It is pretty. But it does not seem as if there's all that much to find. Alright. It should be some things to loot, but we'll see how it works out. I know that there is a Knights Calvaryman kill here, and oh well, a couple of nascent butterflies for people who like nascent butterflies, I suppose. Hmm. Go down this way, and. Hmm. Okay, so in that case, put our. Well, I should, there are a lot of things I should put away right now. But, we have militiamen to take out who are. Interestingly resilient. Oh, well, okay. That was funny. How I hit him at the same time as he hit me. Freezing grease. So what else? Mm -mm. And those vulgar militiamen also had a death effect on their weapons, too. It's, it's not that big. It's just hard to see. Is the thing. That's what makes it. Annoying. Hmm. Low visibility conditions. Around here, this sort of topside area. But yeah, it is mostly about figuring out where that's Cavalryman is, dispatching him, and then going back up to mountaintops, which is a relatively straightforward area. There's not all that much to it. Okay. Go over here and suppose we can take that Trina's Lily. It the joke kind of writes itself. It there was a plant I saw when I was out walking a few days ago which looked a lot like an arterio leaf, and all I could think was is it really does feel like I'm exploring an Elden Ring. I go for a walk and the most notable thing I find is this reddish plant. Okay, let's put Starlight back on. Cool. So where is that Knight's Cavalryman going to be? Now we can explore between the skull in here. Hmm. Another Vorm Militiaman. And, okay, down there, some other things, but mostly just here. Scarabs right now. Let's dismount for combat at the moment. One, two. But I guess they wanted to make it somewhat forgiving to make up for the fact that you have no map, can't get until you're through, and you also can't really see. I have a bunch of scarabs here. Well, also because there's that Black Blade Kindred and I guess they thought that people wouldn't just run from it. Well, news for them. Okay, we have a, a column over here. Interesting. Huh. Then. Then. Hmm. What else? What else is around here? What items and where? Got a golden seed from here, but it's just... Again, I don't need them is the thing. I already have maximum flash uses, and soon in Mount Tops I'll be able to get maximum flash restorative power too, so. Thanks, one. That was nice. So then we're behind that skull, which, other than that relatively small smithing stone, I'm not sure what we'd get from there. It's still night, which should be. Night for a good time more, so I should be able to get to that Knight's Calvary in before 
daytime. Hmm. Yeah, I do want to try the occult giant crusher on Nuts Calverman just to see how well it can keep him and his mouth semi-locked. It should be decent, but we'll see. Hmm. Poise damage, if you can make it work, is a winning strategy. So then, what else? Turn around to your eye. Is that another? Just another scarab, okay. One, two, thank you. Okay. So what else? Anything? Anything? Anything at all? No, okay. Hmm. Let's keep on going and... Huh. Try this out. You are... Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding. Die, die. And then we switch out. Hmm. So it should presumably be somewhere in this general area. But other than that, I'm not sure. That is Rudri. Nope. Okay, cool. Keep on going. Okay. Come on, come on. How then? Hmm. Here another scarab somewhere. The question is, and oh, there you are. Okay, and then you have Beshel incantations. In fact, that Beshel incantations are connected to. Special incantations are connected to the death and death effect is... Well, it says something. It's a bit of foreshadowing there. One, two... And then, it's still night. It's not even halfway through night. So where then is that Knight's Cavalryman going to be? Unless the wiki is just wrong. Or when it says Forbidden Lands, it means something somewhat different. It, I would think it would be somewhat near the entrance, maybe? But I'm not sure. Alright. Cool, take you out at one, two, before you even use Contagion, and we rolled. I actually tried to jump, though, to be fair, I'm not sure that would have worked. And, oh, alright, and, oh, you even got the Death and Death effect. Well, oh, the HP drain effect, not the reduce. Maximum HP effect. Vulgar Moshe Shotel. Hook to Blade Long Handle. Vulgar Moshe Slip Through Enemy's Guard. It's a Halberd. Standard Pierce. Decked with Stewards. Rancid Scorched Battlefield. Zendare Approach. Forbidden Domain is better forgotten by the rest of the world. And this would be the latter category, presumably. Alright. Let's just continue on our merry way. And. Anything over here or. Huh. Should be alright. Oh, and there you are. There you are. Yep, there is one there, so... We're chillin'. Let's put on Star Scourge, Arrow Moon, and use... The Funny Hammer. And hear that. Interesting. We should use a... It's Crouch. Does it see me? I don't think he... Oh my goodness, you... You've got to be kidding me. Come on. And I... Oh, please. All right. And what if I horse up and go somewhere we can't quite reach is the idea. And oh, well, okay. Thanks. Poison stone, because of course. Busting the urgery, and then we can use... Switch back to... Star Scourge Heirloom and use... Remaining against a buff. And then debuff, of course. Then Grail, and we need a bit more for that. Alright, cool. Thanks, I- alright. Oh, okay. Can I? And that did not hit, and of course I'm poisoned. I hate it here. Come on, you. And a good deal of my things are gone now, so- uh, There we go, we can hit with that at least, but... Question is, now if I- Go over, how do I? 
Interesting. Uh, Alright. I don't want you to fall off. Please don't fall off. I uh, Hammer and... Oh my... Okay. This is actually vile. Actually quite vile. Can I just use the... Helix or... Can I... Oh my... Lord. Lord. Okay. I hate this. And I... Can I switch or... Helix. I have to use the Helix. What in the god ham? Okay. This was very stupid. Uh, okay. <sighs> All right. So it's over there, so not too complicated. Some fire grease. And then. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that. That's okay, I suppose. Could have gone worse. Maybe. Presumably. Then we need... Make it nighttime again after recovering my runes. Let's go and recover the runes first. That... I would say take priority. It's just over here on that. Then I can... Well... Do they still see me? Oh my goodness. Who is trying to get me then? You. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Oh! Good anti-air. Thanks. And here we have it. So got you, so... One. Two. Okay. In that case, yeah, I will... Take that guy down. Use another rune arc, because we have nine. Okay. Let's get this out of grace and make it nighttime. Okay. Then we have to make sure we don't get knocked off a cliff. Great stuff, really. Starlight, okay. Let's rush through. Do not need to deal with most of those little guys. Hopefully not. So we'll keep our distance, more or less, as much as I can at least, and there you are, cool, all right, all right. thanks, okay, golden vow, flame, grant me, and can I, grail, thanks, okay, and you're going to, vow. Well, all right, thanks, I, okay, and there we have it, and, well, I, oh, weird, okay, I, Okay. Mm -mm. Healing flask. Oh, come on. You come on. Okay. Heal ends. I okay. Let's actually just use this then. And okay, we did get both of them that time, which is good because last time we didn't. And we don't have any kind of regen up right now because it saw us earlier than I would have liked. So I cannot. Mm -hmm. Come on, just get him close. Can I roll and can I? Oh my goodness, you. Okay. Tank and can I kill the horse? Can I kill the horse? Thank you and just switch out to you and can I? Nice and don't jump. What in the? God damn it! Okay. I thanks. And one, two, three and dodge. Okay, thanks. And for you. And I guess we'll just stab. Okay, well that did it. Okay, cool. And Phantom Slash. Cool. And that 
Spotted, inspired by the fond remembrances of the Knight's Cavalry, Apparition of the Knight's former instructor, guides a joint lunging upward swing. Additional input allows for a follow up attack. Poems, screen plates, great spears accepted. Hmm. So. In that case, I suppose I will. Make it daytime then. And then out the rest of what's in this area should not be all that much then presumably I take that off take the shackle off okay can use a little bit of starlight to well nope 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 okay come on starlight hmm are doing pretty well for ourselves, and it would be at level 201 or so that I'd be, with the great rune equipped, I would have been I would be able to wield giant crusher without having to have star scourge to arrow equipped, which would be nice. Because normally it doesn't have quality is a decent option, but normally it doesn't have any deck scaling. It's crazy. It's just literally just a big rock. Okay. But even Inferno Krasir has some deck sealing veins, but it is a pure, pure strength weapon. And you're gonna. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Alright. One, two, and dodge. One, two. Hmm. Strong guys. Okay. What else is up over this way? This big skull. Can I? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Uh, buh. Buh. How do I get. I get inside here or. I can. Kinda. Let's get off the horse. Oh, okay. I can't get off the horse. I can get off the horse. And there's nothing in here. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> What else might be? So this. This is... Dragon Wound Grease. It's interesting, though. There aren't that many dragons left outside of Far Missoula, where it's really just dragons, but... Hmm. At this point, I've got... Something better than Dragon Wound Grease, and that's Pest Threads. So... Yeah, dragon Wound Threads. And can I... Thanks. Okay, so that is basically droppable. One, two. Mm. Interesting. Keep on moving and stick up with you. I think that's just white, not purple. I can't quite tell, though. Slash, slash, slash. Okay, cool. Then we... Golden Rune 7. Hmm. Okay. How then do I get through? I'm trying. I'm trying. Anything else that I missed before, or... We're basically where we were when we fought the Knights Cavalrymen, so I think it's safe to go to Mountaintops now. Hello. One. Oh, okay. Two, and... Oh, well, alright, alright. Not really rollable. We can space it. You space yourself precisely, you'll strafe through the claw projections, but... Oh, come on. Between his lily, and... Yeah, that was... This was it. Okay. Simple enough. Did good damage with everything except a giant crusher. Even with it in. Well, I might not have had it in the right number of hands. It's possible. Oh... Shabur's over there. First, I want to see if there's anything else in the area, area around the lift. Hmm. Castle Soul is right over there. Do 
Juno Hosla is right over there. Hmm. Then I suppose I'll just go back and kill Rygard. It's an idea. But it's a decent amount in mountaintops. Hmm. It is very plainly one of the smaller areas, but it's not nothing. I'm going to say it's not tiny, but you might be able to argue it is. Hmm. Fire Blossom, have ash and smoldering fire, crafting items, fertilized by sparks from the Forge of the Peak, where burns the flame of ruin. Fun. That's nice. And... It's not a rock or anything, at least nothing I can pick up and acquire, but those are for giant flame fire pots, and you still cannot see Farm Azula from here. It's kind of crazy. Even though that will be our next, next point after we finish things here. So, Beast Blood, and... And the Fire Blossom. Fire Blossom. Okay, so. There was really nothing here. And talk to Shibariri then. The Zamor Knights are. Should hear of Zamor. As weak to lightning as he is to fire, so. May as well just use the Lightning Spear. Hello, Shabri. Ah, oh, covering his face. Very softly speaking. the origin of frenzied flame. Yep. Just must burn. Presumably Melon is fond of it. Crown so be looked upon. Would be ward, path of trigger. Singe ruined flesh at her stead, the silver resolve, righteous hardship, Alicia Brewery, would be ore, depths or with the three fingers in the flame of frenzy, flesh will serve as kindling, can be spared, this path of lordship, word of chaos, true to the ground, mm. God is Naga Kiva. Eventually, we can get you a set if we kill Shabriri here, or if I inherit the flame, he'll drop it in the spot. Ah, okay, so. He'll say, she'll tell me not to do that. I'd like to say, by my mother, a moon volition, the world that I would have. Yep, so. She wants to die. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, what else is. over and around here? Some more ruins are this way. Should be able to get some more ice storm, among other things. This is. where the. ancient hero of Zamor came from then. Bear like fruit, original strain of Rilla, friend frigid highlands, 
takes root even when frozen solid. Impressive. And okay, so you're over there. Let's just toss some lightning spears at you. Should be fine. Ooh, oh, okay. You are quite strong. Well, I, oh. Okay, so the charge variants, we got dodge, the others will not. Oh, interesting. I was not expecting that level of power. Well, at least we still have a good deal to keep me safe, but even still. Huh. So, should be able to find sorcery somewhere. Zamor Ice Storm. Invigorating cured meat and that. Boost robustness, frost, and blood loss. Alleviate. His phantom trees. Interesting. So where are... Is that a nascent butterfly? Let me see. Yeah, well, alright. And we got more... Zamor guys. We got Zamora then. Fun. I, oh, alright. Interesting. Where are you? Huh. Interesting. Let's just keep tossing at you and... Oh my... Ooh. Alright. Now you come. And another... And, mm, cool sword. Okay. Cool. And... They're all rather... Intimidating. Let's say that much. Well, we can simply continue zapping them. Well, or not. Hmm. And now you're going to look quite a miss. And oh my! Wait, what? Huh? Oh my goodness! That traveled really, really far. That almost killed me. Well, all right, and one more. We were almost in a very, very hard situation. And yeah, that restored a good amount. But where is? My illusory four, then. Ah, there it is, the more ice storm. Come on. Let's keep on zapping you. Thanks. Thank you. And there we have it. Okay. Oh, another. Okay. Some more ice storm, freezing tornado, ice source to the town, the more. Strike the round that's snapped to create a freezing tornado, charging against potency, quote an icy tempest. It's the more of challenge the fire giant since, since ancient times. Actually can't use that yet. Funny. Oh well. And we can Ah, that stopped your attack. Interesting. Okay. Well it seeing these guys just around when last time I literally fought one of these guys as a boss and sainted here was grave is kind of amusing. So Mount Tops is definitely a cut above everything else. I wait, what oh come on, you okay. Wow. Interesting. I come on, you what what okay. That's just vile. Honestly, barrier gold barrier of gold could do me decent service here, but it's a little late for that. All there really is to do is just continue tossing lightning at these knights. Actually, let me see how much of this would do in comparison, and I... Mmm, that is a bit better. That's because of the effect of Black Flame. Yeah, it... There we are. Oh my... How did that not hit? Okay, whatever. I... Thanks. It... I can't believe that connected. Alright. Mmm. Black Flame, always a good option. And no boss in here, presumably. I think. Let's just... Open this up. And... Get whatever there is to get from here. That is... Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 3. Okay, nice. So now we can purchase everything. Up to 6. The only things we need to get through other means would be 7 and 8. Okay, which we'll get the bell bearing for that in Farm Zula. Oh, but right now, Gelmir Glenstone Staff is 
That would have to be wait until the path of the Halo Tree, but it won't be until Four Missoula, and it's not that I really make any use of sorceries to any meaningful extent, because that's what I'm going to use. Comet Azure to not cheese things, but use Comet Azure for power. Pure power. Hmm. Yeah. At least we got that bell bearing. I wonder what else might be up top, or if I can even reach the top of that plateau. Good chance I can't, actually. Well, I can't get up there. Okay. Let's just see what else there is first. Nothing in that little tower. So it seems. Yeah, oh, well, hello there. Hi. Fun. Let's just keep tossing this and aim to... And that does not go up top. That's good. I was worried for a second. And keep it up. There we go. Cool. Fun. So yeah, that worked much, much better. Oh, well, I didn't know you were there too. Fun. And... Oh my goodness. Oh, but the stance damage is significantly less. Also, it gets dodged. Mm -hmm. I, dodge. Okay. Thanks. I, dodge. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and can I... Hmm, alright. Thanks, another fire. Well, eventually you will... Go in, trying to get in here, and can I... Toss that before you... Out of the... Okay, okay. That should be, and... Oh my goodness, well, die, die... Oh my, what, what? No, 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 okay. Come on, you. Come on. I dodge, okay, that's the power of Lightning Spear. Okay, because they're... Right, I actually forgot they were dodgy. This is the last time I thought I might use the... Oh, stupid scouring black flame, which is borderline useless. Well, it's, I don't know, you're trying to torch a bunch of slimes at once. Hmm. Well, it... That was okay. Yeah. I'm actually pleasantly surprised... I'm a little afraid of how many times I've narrowly avoided death. Afraid of how many times I've almost died and pleasantly surprised that I haven't. Fingers crossed. So we jump back out there and see what else there is to see around this area. What is that then? Well, whatever. The nice thing is that we got or flashback, so we can keep exploring for the time being. But the drop rate is sufficient for an endgame area. Because this is the last mandatory area. Well, it's not from Farm Azul, which is technically a dungeon. So. Okay, Trina's Lily. Anything else over here, or what? Eventually, when you get to Consecrated Snowfield, we can start farming Trina's Lilies if you have need for them, which, well, I don't, would not say I do. And, oh, we got oh, Stormhawks? Oh, that's kind of crazy. All right, and, mm, yeah, and I didn't even know that there were white Stormhawks around anywhere. I knew there were some in Farm Azula, but it's different. And, okay, cool. Thanks. And toss that. And lightning zaps. Lightning zaps the big bird. Okay. Let's continue around and along. And so otherwise we could have gotten up here through this. And, oh, hello. Hi. Surprised you didn't hear me coming. All right. Cool. Thanks. Now we've been up rolled, presumably we should be able to send a felly to Stormvale, I would think. But we there was not really anything up here. Which alright. Given that this is endgame, I would have expected. Maybe a bit more. Eh, it is what it is. Anything around or is that an arterial leaf? Incredible. Okay. 
again, now that I have particularly need of, that, need of it when... If food act occupied its own separate food buff slot, then Exalted Flash would have a reason to exist. But as of now, it is just worse Flame Grant Me Strength, but doesn't cost FP and is a little bit faster, which is not enough, in my opinion, to give it a valid use case, unless you really, really min-max so hard you don't even have space for 12 strength, which is, I suppose, possible, but yeah. Let's put... Right, put my... Starlight back on. Thank you. Cool. Alright. Mm hmm. Climb draw. And then we work our way around there to get on that part. How then do I make this work? Oh, we have these big barbed spears. Interesting. Another nascent butterfly and. Old Man Rose is pointing up at catacombs that I cannot currently reach at all. Hi. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. That is up top, I presume, so... Well, it might actually not be. Not sure yet. Charge that up, and goodbye. Mm -mm. So what else? This was down around here. Aside from that, I... Oh, hi! Hello, I... There's that bird. Okay. Stupid bird that I hate. And... I... Okay. Alright, and... Do this but Oh, my goodness. Come on, and... Please. Okay. Dodge, and can I just... Toss, and... Need another... Lightning Spear. Cool. Fun. Fun. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough time to try charging it when things are that close. Kinda sad. You're scared of it's right up okay, right up over there, okay. It's over there up. What are you gonna drop? You're gonna drop a oh come on. And that's a Somberstone 7, well, alright. It's usable. I just wanna see. Are there catacombs we can reach right now? Is that going to be strictly for later? Let's just check. Roses was over there, and this is not any way through. So it's probably on top of that portion that I can't get to unless I go around from the east side. So, nothing to do but continue on our path. And that is Smoldering Butterfly. Okay. Hmm. This is, oh, we got Stormhawk. Alright. Cool. Die. That then is... Yep, just death. Okay. Hmm. But I literally went through this area before, and I did not notice a single bird that time, which... Might say something about me, though I cannot imagine it would be good. Oh, okay, actually I think we can loop around this way to the catacombs. Which also means another little place to see. Oh, a fire prelate. Alright, let's put on the helix and go for it. Thank you. Go in sorcerer and... Hmm. The fire blossoms, or but that is, yeah. The catacombs are right there. The question is, what I'm gonna have to fight at the end of it. Okay. Fire blossom, and yep, they guard the giant's flame on the mountaintops. Come on, and there we go. So you're over there, and oh, because they're slightly frozen. That's crazy. And if I just drop you off. Actually, the best way to do this, then, would just be lightning. Okay. Fall off, and we can get a flash use back by knocking you off the edge. It, if it works, it works. 
to the catacombs are clearly right over there. So, all right, fun ends. Oh, and you got a whip. Okay, fun ends. Charge then, and thank you. All right, and okay. And some of them are just more durable than the others for no discernible reason, it seems. Oh, briars of punishment are right there. All right, well, that's kind of fun. Dodge, and okay, can I... Oh, okay, I... Dodge, can I... Mm, well, not if that happens. You back up like a clown. Okay, I... Dodge, and can I... Mm, okay, I... Please. All right. Mm, I, oh, okay. I don't know you had that as an option. I, oh, my goodness. you got to be kidding. Dodge, dodge. Okay, can I... Stop it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Oh, please. One, two, and... Dodge, and can I... Mm, stab it. Can I... Oh, okay. And can I... Please, you... What? Uh, dodge, and heal, and... Uh, you are a lunatic. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to... Dodge, okay. Oh, my... Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I, okay. What? Huh? Okay. What is the range on that ludicrous thing? Dodge. And... Dodge. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I, okay. Can I... And... Stab. 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 Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Can I... Mm-hmm. But... All right. I... Dodge. And, oh, right. I, okay. Oh my, what? Huh? Huh? How are you doing that? Okay, I dodge, okay. Roll, all right, and one, two, three, four, and dodge, dodge, and okay, one, two, okay, finally got bottle ass. Okay, that was kind of ridiculous. Whew, arterial leaf. I just should have used. The big thing is... Honest to goodness, impaling, well, impaling thing, piercing thing on Godskin Stitcher. Probably be better than this. Uh, the dodge is nice, but if you're just trying to attack, not that amazing. Assault criminals, most reviled by the academy, thorns of punishment. Oh, both thorns running over the ground to impale enemies from below can be cast repeatedly. Guilty eyes gouged by thorns live in eternal darkness, and there they discovered the blood star. And a couple of those, and that costs more actually, which is interesting. Huh. Well. That is, has a higher requirement. Hmm. Alright. For better or worse, that guy definitely responds. Got a good amount back there. Fun. Hmm. Let's open up these catacombs. And see what there is to find inside. Hmm. Giants mountaintop catacombs. My question is... Oh, beast like rivers. Fun. In that case, I should and find another side of grace outside. Don't have to go all the way back. Haven't respawned yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go over and find little giant's causeway. They've all got rocks all... The blocks all have sigils on them. You can see down into... Yeah, consecrated snowfield a little. And their horse. Yep. It's a nice long road over to. Area up top over there. Not that long. So what is your deal? Lots of ashes of war. Okay, smoldering butterfly. Good old melana. And then think over here or 
doesn't look like anything other than... Oh, well, we got a ballista. Well, not a ballista, but a golem trying to shoot at me. Okay, cool. And, alright. Let's just... Oh, my... What? Huh? Excuse me? Okay, that was kind of ridiculous. Oh, okay. That's certainly an option, I suppose. Let's run past these guys. I do not need to fight them again. But not being able to use the Ash of War all that much hurts a little. This Piercing Fang, well, Impaling Thrust, and Piercing Fang, though Piercing Fang is slower, not requires as much commitment as does Donis Finesse. Hi. Thank you, go ahead, shoot. I will hide from you. Okay. We'll just go down here, I suppose, for now. Squad, can't we? Golden rune and dodge. Oh well, maybe not. All right. Got these and fireballs from Rainbow Stone and drawstring holy grease. Okay. I right. dodge. Okay. As long as I'm in position where I can actually dodge, it's more or less fine. But those items being actual hot garbage is funnier than it should have been. I expected. Something worth worth my time. And hopefully effort, too. Well, I... Let's use another rune arc. Put on... Giant Crusher again. Medium load, and... Right, because I don't have a strong armor, so that's why I'm taking more damage. Star Scourge, Heirloom, and... Yeah, okay. Fun. Go ahead, just use... Oh, you don't see me anymore. Your mistake. Your loss. Okay. Cool, and... One. Two. And see how much this deals. On a crit, and the answer would be... Oh, well, alright. The answer is not enough to... Uh, manage. Well... Because it fell down in a way that prevented me from hitting the critical anyway. Lucky guy. Not really. Okay. Another arterial leaf. And no higher ahead. So there's nothing there. Cool moon 13. Okay. Fire blossom and. Hmm. Continue looking around until I find hopefully another side of grace that will allow me to survive. Hmm. Or just get out of here faster. Alright, let's put on better armor, better stuff. It's a good option, but in the end, as fun as Body Helix has been. And as great as it is for fighting dodgy enemies that can be staggered as an NPC type enemies, it leaves a bit to be desired. Hmm. Just think about this then. Where do I want to do this? I switch out my armor along with my weapon. I can compensate for giant crusher and its weight, so. Bulgo Greaves and Radon Gauntlets. And this works pretty well with what I've got right now. The big thing is that there should be some giants somewhat nearby. I mean, some golems somewhat nearby, so we'll need to switch back to Giant Crusher to take them out as quickly as possible. But And I will say that Giant Crusher is a weapon that I have equipped mostly for sentimental value. It's not all that much stronger than Free White's Inferno Grazier, and it takes a lot more to use. I need a talisman out of their strength to wield it, and okay, Summerstone 8 
big thing is, Godskin Stitcher is a normal weapon, which does make it a bit harder to upgrade. So I'm gonna have to wait until, in theory, well, depending on how many I get here. And that's the other advantage that Helix has, beyond, in theory, higher damage potential if you can get the entire Ash of War off. You have the advantage of being able to inflict, you know, being able to level easier as a somber weapon. But quite frankly, I would say that... See the flame peak over there, that's fun. Way up that way. Mm -hmm. I have, in theory, the ability to... Two extra damage. Level it up easier so we deal even more damage than the Stitcher would, but of course the Stitcher... Stitcher deals a little bit less damage at base, but you can also infuse it, which you can't do with Bloody Helix. That said, I don't have a lot of good seals to really use. Hmm. The sake of a weapon and buffs. Because I focus on multi scaling, it'd be like with Sod and. Oh, Millicent is here? Hello. To think we'd meet in such right, a place. because of Halo Tree Could being nearby. Who knows? Oh. I know well enough who you are. And what I mean is good enough for me. All the time. Mmm. Should you have been? I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard... Castle Saul will build the hands of the Halo Tree. ...was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halo Tree. Mmm. Indeed. I believe that is where Melania... Consecrated snowfield. I'm searching for to the north. Okay. I'm searching my head. to the north. Let's go over, take some of this. And go back to those catacombs. That ancient snow valley ruins. Now she's left. Okay. Hmm. So Okay, so I can't get up there, like that at least, but... Down into Giant's Mountain Up Catacombs. Who am I going to have to fight there, is the question. Giant's Mountain Up Catacombs, and that. An Ulcerated Tree Spirit, okay. Fine. It's week two. A week to fire. All right. I. Hmm. Could try passwords, maybe, but I think the best way would just be flame art on the giant crusher. This would mostly be kind of enemies. Mostly imps, okay. Imps and Miranda Sprouts and... I just closed the game instead accidentally. I may be stupid. Let's open that back up then. And not make that mistake this time. Alright. Miserable time. <sighs> yeah, Giant Crusher and then Bloodhound's Fang should be the only things I need to worry about using. Should be fine. So we teleported, I don't presume anything would be lost. Once we kill Juno Hoslo, I can go back to the manor and finish things up there. Kill Rykard and be done with it. And then, of course, wrap up the questline a little. That should be decently 
be okay. Oh, but right, we should put away a number of weapons. Sort the chest, and most of these can go. Yeah. All right. Then, good sword cane sword. Black blades, for tangent, storm rock axe, black axe, hammer, envoy horn, battle hammer. That, yeah, we can put that away too. Well, if Grand Sax is interesting, but I do not foresee myself really needing it much. Or using it much. Okay. Then we switch back to. Stupid. Oh, scale degrees work too. That's a little less stupid. Okay. Just like this then. Mm hmm. Some lesser burial watchdogs, apparently, as well as imps. Hmm. Hello, imp. Hi, and can I... One, two... Oh, because I got in the wrong number of hands. Oh, because I also don't have Star Search Arrow on, right. Okay. Oh, oh, because the, the difference is what I've got equipped. Right, okay. Not a lot of poise. Okay. Who is... Oh, hi. Hello. Come on, get over here. Dare you, and... Oh, my goodness. All right, and... Come on, and... Slam and miss. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Come on, come on. And one. Two. Three, and... Oh, my goodness. Okay. What in the... It is slow. It is rather slow. It's an interesting and amusing weapon, but it is quite slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, and... Uh, doesn't appear like it's as long range as the Krizure either, but... Can I... Okay, whatever. Hmm... Hmm... Okay. You can get... Three of Glovewort. Is there an Oyster of All in here? In here... No. Oh, in, in the secret lower part of the dungeon. Hmm. Hillwood Catacombs. Oh, Venus, Glintstone, Crown, Crystal Staff. Just Grave, Soldier Scarab, Kings are almost Ruins. Hillwood Drake, Talisman, and Wayndell Catacombs. Oh, in Wayndell Catacombs. The stairs from the grace. Two balls ending with a snail. Oh, they disappear until you. Okay. All right. Hmm. Imp statue and illusory floor. Your state and mirage rise. Sorry, rock, moonfolk ruin, somber stone. Some catacombs. Recall your snail. Sage's cave. Garris. Sainted graves. Tunnel. Sully a hideaway. And did I get the crystal spear? I think I did. Crystal spear. And the Landell catacomb was there something there too. Let me just check real quick then. Make sure I have everything, but this is interesting. Jumping attack is probably actually my best option. But just gotta hit him with a big rock. Chest and let me see. Do you have the I guess I just don't have the crystal spear. Never got it from Celia. Okay. Huh. It's supposed to be in Celia hideaway, so. Alright. Go over to Wayndell Catacombs and then to Celia Hideaway, I suppose. Cool. Because there was something I didn't find. The stairs and the spirit collar snail. Hmm. Put this back on and put on slightly better gear. Bull goat, redauntlets. Yeah. 
My question is honestly, would I be able to take down how well would Radagon rings work against it? That's my question. Go back up of the stairs up the not up the elevator. Well actually yeah, up the elevator. That's where we got the Moog Shackle. Not much. Basically nothing. Okay. So there was an oyster wall I missed in here. Couple sets of walls, and there we go. Hello there, hi, and... And... Oh, interesting, so... Hilodric Talisman plus one. Alright, cool. I... How do you want me to react? What do you... What, what do you want me to say? Okay, sell your heart away. Hmm. So you hide away. Usuri wall rock to slope down. Sake of America right wall. Left of it clearing without crystals. Down to the boss room. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I said on Twitter. Some bolus left of it. Clearing without crystals. Okay, so there was one at the very end of the dungeon then. Alright. Thank you. It was the only real choice. So, we're back here. Cool. I suppose I could actually use Giant Crusher to be funny. Those greaves. Take that, and... Oh, but... No, not Lionel's, but... Royal. Oh, Crucible is actually... Crucible's medium mode, too. Huh. That... Okay. Thanks. Well, because it would also make it harder for you to watch, so... You have your... You have your sympathies and your allegiances. And we can hear a Revenant down there. As before, so I've been in here... This is the fourth time I've been through this stupid dungeon. Okay. First time I was just going through to fight things. The second time is unlocking Wissat. Third time is coming back to get Wissat's gear. Well, the ice bowl is for the computer. It's not for me. Thanks. I feel so cared for. And, alright. And go over and hit. Thanks, before you can... Tear that scrap out. Hmm. Keep on going. Eh, somewhat. But it's mostly about... Uh, mostly for the PC. As the fan is blowing on the PC. Oh, but with the ice bolt between the fan and the PC to blow the cool air into the PC. And it is meaningfully helping. But... Where is the illusory wall then leading to a crystal spear? Hug the right side of the wall. Clearing without crystals. Well, figure it out then. No more snails. Okay. Fun. Slam it down on you again. Clearing without crystals. Behind, past a body. Bolises. Okay. Come on, come on. And past over here should be another illusory wall. In a clearing without crystals. Right past the body. But I never saw anything about that in. Maybe it's actually in the boss room? Maybe. I. Oh, come on, you. Slam it. Okay, alright. And if you touch it, it'll do a little bit of damage. But where is... Wait. Clearing without crystals after boluses. I... There's no way I have a spear already. It's not in my inventory. 
I think it's supposed to be Crystal Spear that I do not have. This is interesting. Hmm. Crystal Spear location in Celia Hideaway. This is aggravating. Right before the bosses, maybe? I... Hmm. At least we have a bigger hammer this time. Well, actually, it's not really bigger than the Inverno Crusher. It's just heavier. And again, it with a strength requirement of 60, therefore requiring me to have a talisman to take it to... Oh, to 40 just to two-hand it. It is still the highest strength requirement weapon in the game. And it's so heavy that I can't even really use armor with it. Which is amazing. Just fantastic. I... Let's hug the wall. Hug the wall, go down slowly, around the corner, go up, next to the body with swimming bolus to the left of it, in the clearing without crystals. Okay. So I presume it's in that side pathway that I went to before with some other dudes. This should be the way in then. Around these crystals, I think. The clearing without crystals. The left of that body. Oh, well, that was damage. Okay. See how well. This takes these guys out, and actually, that's very capable. Okay, cool. You when I crush the giant. Clearing without crystals, but... Another miner. Thanks. And this... No. Just the left of it. But wait. There's no way I threw it away, right? I hope. So that betrayal it had. Huh? The body went and neutralized. Is that... It went through the wall, but it's not illusory, huh? I... Hmm. Liar ahead. So then where is... Huh. Neutralizing Bolas's body. And A. Did I get the Crystal Spear in there? I... It can't have been, right? Clearing without crystals. But I... No, because really... Crystal Spear... I'm going crazy. Let's take America. So... Crystal Spear... I'm actually just... Losing it. Starlight and Celia hide away. Towards the bus while hugging the right wall with an item, hit the bare wall to the left of it. Room containing a chest with a crystal spear. To the left of it. Where's the body? Body's not here. Bare wall. So I don't have it. I clearly don't have it, but. Oh my goodness. Gracious. This is not it. Not it. Body with... I need to find the body. I'm going mad. It's not it either. I swear. It'd be funny if it just glitched out or something. Or if I did somehow have it. Pretty sure I don't have it. It's hugging the right wall. With a body bare wall to the left of the the weft of a body. Clearing without crystals and... Huh? Huh? I... Wait. Huh? The weft of the body. Maybe it's not that body? I just... I feel so stupid. It, especially since now that I've gone through the area, there isn't I can't just pick up an item from a corpse and... Oh, it's neutralizing bolus. Clearly, it's that one. It... There aren't really signs for me in the same way there would have been before. Is that anything? Is this anything? Oh, okay. There we go. I hate this. So much. Well, th there it is. Crystal Spear. 
Okay. Pure Crystal, indeed impossible for a human, removes the power of magic, attack seals with intelligence, one core purpose, safeguard crystals under the end. Theory posits, you earn for the return of the creator, who will carve for them new brethren, yada yada, okay. Alright, let's go into the mountaintop catacombs again. And hope and pray. Okay. Got that. We have this. Let's kill those imps. Alright, and slam. There we go. How long is that? Fast about I can. Okay, thanks. Oh my goodness. I dodge. Oh my. Okay. Can I slam it? Oh, really? Okay. Come on, come on. And slam down on you so a jump attack is harder for them to respond to. That makes sense. Hmm. Everything in here mostly is going to be like just slashing or. Blunt damage, like, oh my goodness, that is actually vile. Okay. Cool, so I can slam down on- miss, I can miss entirely, that's what I can do. Come on, you- oh, please, I, really? I- Is this slower than the Krasier? This might be slower. I could see that being true. It- it's a fun weapon, but it has its downsides, that's for sure. Damage is good, though. I've actually got a Colt on it instead of... Heavy or quality or anything you might normally expect. So, that's fun. So, down over here. So, it goes way down low. Interesting. Probably to get out of the way. The Hero's Grant, which is also around the same area. Can I go down into that or... Let's see that... That is, well, there is something down there, but very clearly I can't go into it. This is the boss fog. Okay. There you are. Hello. Oh, and a magic bot. Okay. Slam and dodge. Okay, cool. Interesting. I can slam again. And we got more of you, so slam again. There we are. Huge hammer. One stone firefly. Should have some Mirandas in here, but it just keeps going down and down and down and down and down. Huh. That secret lower part. Raising the lift, taking it down to the first level. Taking it downward. Past the first room. Frostbest traps down a long hallway. It's just a grave glove ward. Okay. Huh. I... Let's try that then. Go to the secret... Secret area, which... Might be here, and... Let's see. Oh, right, because it... Yep, there's an elevator below the other elevator. That's cool. This one goes down. And that's our secret. Cool. Let's continue on our journey. That wedge is nothing. Okay. So then we got another imp. Hi, other imp. Slam down on you. Thanks. Then. Uh, okay. Alright. Hello, Western Burial Watchdog. I, oh, alright. Fun. And, and another. Alright, so can I... Slam it. Oh my, oh my goodness. Alright. Dodge. Okay. And can I heal? Took a lot more than I expected. So dodge. Attack. Slam. Slam it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright. Okay. Heal. You are actually vile. And wait. Huh? How did that lingering hitbox in my... What? Oh my goodness. Wow. I... Hmm. Okay. Should probably use a use my flask. Probably use some incantations. Or actually uh -huh. There's a stake in here, that's fine. Okay. Let's just pop that then. And golden vow. 
Flame grant me no way I'm going to have enough time to get a grail off. Well, actually, I could, maybe, depending on how close it gets. Hi there, hello. If you come over here, go ahead, come over here. That could. And, well, alright, and it's. Yep, and it made you weaker, which is good for me. And dodge. Oh my. Oh my goodness, you. I hate you. Really hate this guy. And can I dodge? And, and dodge. And, oh my goodness. But after the dodge, and there we go. We can go for a couple of slams. Well, not if we have the wrong number of hands on our weapon. I hate this. Okay. Come on, you. And dodge. And, oh my goodness. I dodge. And it's gonna. And all right. And can I? Slam and there we dodge. Okay, come on, you. What are you even trying to do? I hate this. And of course, there's frost somehow. Frost breath. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. Okay, and slam it. What? Okay. Just. I'm gonna kill this thing. And, oh please. I, of course it's dodge and another final hit. And now you're dead. Can't believe it took it that much. Okay. Hmm. It. Okay. All right. And yeah, now we're kind of in hard mode. Okay. Grave Glove War Eight. So where's the actual illusory wall, though? Other thing is, we got frost traps, frost traps. Oh my goodness. That means putting the bow back on real briefly. That makes it heavy load because. Nothing good in this world can last. Alright. Cool. Go down, why don't you? And there should be a couple of frost traps, actually, so. Anybody, anything in here? Oh, and there's our death route. Fun. Alright. Okay. Let's go over, shoot again. Thank you. Which means we can take this off. And there's nothing up top, so no reason to ever put that away. Okay. Oh, all right. Ah, ice arrows. Fun. And there, there you are. Stupid. I hate you. Come on. And oh my goodness. I, all right. And slam it. There we go. And what? Huh? Okay. Slam again and kill you. I just. Huh. Weapon is fun, but it's a gimmick. Grave glove or. And avoid that. Find a oyster wall, maybe, unless the oyster wall is just indicating that trap ends. Oh, there we go. And it's just that. Okay, cool. Ah, okay, well, alright. Go to scoreboard 7. Hmm. I. Well, alright. That's an idea. I suppose I can try this. How much do I have in terms of... I've got two red flasks, period. Let's just put on... Blessing of the Urgery and pray. Thanks. And we need strength. Strength boost. And I... Wait, what? Huh? How did that... That makes no sense. How did that even... Huh? Okay. That was bizarre. Oh, did it hit that with its own frost breath? Might have, might have. Okay. And let's... Mm, Alright. Got the right thing equipped, so I... Let's just use this, and cool, nice, and... We can oh my goodness, you've got to be getting in. Come on, and okay, you just have a sword, which makes things easier, so... Next slam and okay, dodge and okay. Oh my goodness, you dodge and wait, how am I stuck here? I okay, all right, thanks and heal and another. Luckily, this one is easier. So I, okay, slam and kill and what? Okay, slam and hit and I what? Huh? How many can you do? I what? what? This makes no sense. I actually hate you. Okay, can I? Slam again. Do not dodge. Okay, cool. And another hit, and now it's just dead. Okay. 
This place is evil. And this is... Oh, fire monk ashes. Okay. Fire monk, moderate the giant's flame. Fire incantation, still the inspire. Charge with keeping watch over the flame. After many years of duty, so some to its allure. I think I have... Black flame monk Amon already, maybe. I think he was in Kaelid. Somewhere. Black flame monk Amon. No, I don't think I do. The question is where I get him then. It. You can't actually get every single one in a single playthrough, interestingly enough. But now that that's the rock, I can leave this wretched place and. Well, weave this part of it for the rest of the dungeon, as one does. It is interesting that a roll puts that up. Oh, I did not mean to do that. And we're out. Okay. So it's time to go back to the very first part of the dungeon. Yay. I'm so happy. But now we don't need to use the silly part anymore. What if I send this up without me? No underground ahead, so yeah, nothing. Hmm. Okay. Which means we just need to put it back down. And we can't teleport back to the start. Awesome. So we need to go to the first set of grace normally, actively. For better or worse. It's interesting how this, it's not just a rock, it's a blood-stained rock. Lovely. Okay. Go up, nothing there. Back to the start and get another level of what? Well, who knows. Honestly, probably arcane. Could increase the damage of this ridiculous thing. And we can't pull that down. We have to do that to pull the top part down. And then I can oh, go through the rest of the dungeon somewhat normally, hopefully. Okay. But of course, I'd want to change it to fire or flame art for the oh, tree spirit at the end. Hmm. I guess the question is, what kind of weapon do I want to use? Oh, but right, the imp statues are back because we, we spawned at a stake America. That's right. So in that case, let's go up and rest before imps kill me. Yay! Okay. Let's level up and take this too. That's good for now. Okay. Now we got this thing, which... 776, not bad. Mm, if I... switch this out to... Fire or Flame Art be better? It... Mm. Fire would be better, I think. Yeah, they deal basically similar amounts of... Well, actually, flame art. Flame art would be a little better. Well, this one out is still good. Let's just keep going. Put on the starlight and try to... Thank you. Go ahead. Get down here. And can I... Slam and another hit. It's the strong attack that one taps. Okay. This is something for sure. Hello, hello. And can I go over, slam, and kill? Thanks. Alright, and can I slam again and well miss. We can miss. And pound down. Okay. Let's continue. Trying to get through. Alright, alright. Okay. Should be down around the same location. 
Uh, uh. Missing the hero tree is a fun one, but yeah, the fact that I need more faith to cast it means that I can't just splash it as easily. A bit more inconvenient, so. Oh, come on. Alright, and one, two, and. Oh, well, alright, thanks. And should have gone for the strong attack. Oh, well, you live and learn. Or you don't learn and die. Okay. Took down two of those. Watchdogs. The funny thing is that the greatsword that they drop is literally a strictly worse version of the. Uh, oh, the Guts greatsword you get in Kaled, which. If you can go to Mountaintops, you can go to Kaled. There's nothing down there that interesting. Oh, we got jars. Hello. How many ritual pots do I have? I have. Have. Eight ritual pots. We got one from Windell Catacombs. Well, some catacombs. So I think. There are more jars in here. We should get one more ritual pot, presumably. I hear something coming in. Oh, hello there. Hi. And slam down. There we are. Cool. Another pot or what? Come on. Gotta hear something. Let's be careful. Look around and I hear something, but I don't see anything. That's what's so unnerving. Living jar shard and a raw meat dumpling. Alright, and oh, hello. Oh, well, not if you were hit, but. Luckily, it, it's not that slow, actually. Living jar shard, and it's only the small ones that actually respawn. That is still no item. Hmm. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Hmm. Some of this, and. Oh, trap ahead. Let's. Yep, three frost arrows. Fun. Starlight and. Hmm, what else? We're going our way up and around, but. Oh, we got more guillotines. How fun. The fire pot and fire jar. Actually, the best way would probably be to aim down. And, oh, yep, and that activates there. Explosion protocol, more or less, and so it does not seem as if any of those lead up to anything, so let's see if I can aim this and it cannot. Hmm. Oh, alright. Fun. And Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and blow yourselves up. Thanks. I alright. Really? Just go ahead and jump it. Oh wow, that I couldn't dodge all the way because the little indentation in the wall. That was unpleasant. So, we. Here we go, you'll blow up. Thank you, cool. Mm -hmm. Wait for some of that, but first we should toss a few more, and well, that did not quite connect. Annoying. Ah. Uh, thanks. Really, really? Okay. Ah. Uh, I am. Annoyed. Framing this is okay. There we go. There we go. Now we can toss another down. We have it. Explode the jar. See that wax seal on top just come out because we didn't actually break it. Killed it with fire. Oh, come on. I wonder if it'll work it this way, too. Oh, come on, you. And the air we might help a little. It did not help at all. Have mercy, I swear. Stupid. And I... Oh. What in the... Okay. I actually hate this. Luckily, now we can... Take you out, presumably. And what if we do it this way? It, Yep, it just launches the seal instead of breaking it, though. I'm not sure it breaks normally either. Secret and no, no secret. Sad, actually. Okay. Keep on moving. Then and then and then. Oh, okay, so here are the land squirts, so let's put this back on. Hmm. 
So I could put on heavier armor, and I think I will in the meantime. Dawn gauntlets. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. Let's put our starlight back on. But these guns are actually tough. One, two, so jump in a ball pit does things quite well. Okay, but I think there might be a giant one here, but it's kind of weird that there are land squirts in here. Frankly, I would not have expected that. And oh well, all right. Two, three, and out of the way before they get poisons. Okay. Hmm. Oh, all right. Let's just proceed. Oh, we got more jars. Okay. Suit yourself. I. We can put the giant crusher back on. Greaves and. All right. Cool. Smash. Again, and this is. What kind of trap is that? It's. Yep, more triple ice arrows. Cool. And down through here is. Hmm. Well, we'll see, I suppose. Oh, and. Oh, here is our giant jar. There's only just one ritual pot. Oh well, and just. Swing and. Crush you. How sad. Okay. This is. Grave Glove Horde and a, another Ritual Pot, so there is one Ritual Pot left in the game, presumably. Somewhere. Whether I... Whether at some place I've already been or not. Simulating Bolus is sleep buildup, whatever. This should be... Where I need to go. Where's my lever? Nascent Butterfly and... No, really. I guess I just have to keep dropping down until... Wait. No, really. Oh, well, this is... Is this different? This may be different. I... Dodge and... Oh, well, alright. I didn't think that would hit me. So this actually... They're probably doing a fake out again. Okay. And... Oh, my goodness. Really? Okay. So I do need to just figure out a way to... Toss fire at these jars before they get to me. Okay, cool. And boom. And now you explode too. Okay, cool. Everyone explode. So that is different or the same. I really am confused now. It's definitely possible that it. Yep, it's another dungeon that the whole same fake repetition thing. Awesome. Well, thank you, Guillotine Blade. That was very nice for me. Okay. So, let's use some Black Flame. Hopefully, help me hit more accurately, but... Oh, come on, you. Toss it. What? Huh? All right. There we go. Hmm. Move ahead. Center that. Toss. You gotta move up a little. Thanks. Or... This should... Yep, the... Explosive aspect out. Okay. Let's put our light back on. Hmm. So it's been... Three different catacombs that have all had the same... Fake out shtick. Well, if it if it works, it works, I suppose. We have glove war and hmm. We'll work our way back around before I do any more drops. Yep, it's more lance words. Okay. So presumably, using the elevator would take me somewhere else. Hmm. All right. Cool. One, two, then. One, two, and... Oh, yep, there's a giant one right there. Classic! Okay. Big poison. Big poison. Come on. Slash, slash, and... Big poison. Okay, well, alright. Can I? Slash, and... 
slash. There we go. We got the critical. One. Two. And you're not dead. Yeah, okay. Wow. That thing took a lot of punishment. Now well, we're over here. Question is... How else can I travel along? And that drops down as well, so... Well, we could shoot the jar with arrows. Gets the job done for us. Oh, and it seems to have gone frostbitten. That's fun, too. Is this the final ritual pot, or... Raving jar shard, raw meat dumpling. Okay. So before I drop down another time, and presumably get another repetition of that area, I'm gonna head back and go up that elevator to see if it shows me anything new. It... An idea so good, they repeated it twice. And quite frankly, it is a really funny idea. I do like it. Just the idea of repeating a dungeon that repeats itself spatially. You know, in Genshin's defense, they only did it once. Okay. Keep on going. Go back around to that elevator. Yeah, yeah, well. We least until people get tired of it. So what's over here that ends? Ah, okay, and... Oh, interesting. Something below there. That... What is this, then? This... Hmm. Carefully, therefore, try to target... Well, okay, okay, hi. Thanks. That was useful. How much more... Where... And where around? So I went down and I saw another, which was interesting. Which might lead down to another level, maybe, but... So checking under that elevator is... Good idea. Oh, and there you are. Hello. I openly despise these... Wait, what? Where is... Another... Another imp. Really? Okay. Come on. Okay. So let's put on Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength. Honestly, we could probably go for Grail, but... I... I guess. Hmm. Actually, we should be okay, I think. I... The nice thing is that they don't have any kind of dodge, okay, and oh, really? Okay, come on. I, all right, slam, and let's go for the crit. One, two, thank you, okay. It, rude resin. Oh, we got the Watchdog's Raid Sword, which yeah, just sucks. Watchdog's Raid Sword, and decorate the Watchman's Eye. People taken by Grave Rompers, no harm, leaving a mere lump of stone. It's presumably the magical abilities were connected. I let's just use Blessing of the Earth Tree real quick. I may as well. And I cannot use that right now. Alright. So honestly what I could do then is... Big thing is I need to remember that after the first repetition there is stuff underneath. Golden Vow before I replenish. Okay. Then we can use Blessing of the Urge Reaper. Bit more HP restoration and put this back on to be able to use it. And that is why things are tough. Okay. In the second cycle, the elevator lets you drop down to get some more pots. Okay. It. It's interesting. It's rather interesting. Okay. And I am running lower than my leg on blue flasks. Hmm. Interesting place. Interesting place. Question is now. Now where am I going to get dropped down? Go through here. We took out that jar. Go down here. Hello? Oh, interesting, it's got a whip on it. Oh, so every single time it... It's just a longer shaft that drops down to this area up top. Okay. So now the only thing I can really do is 
drop down underneath to where the jars are. Hello, jar. Hi there. I can crush you, presumably. Hi, all right. They're about to spin or what? Having jar shard raw meat dumpling is, is also something below there, clearly. Hmm. I, all right. Oh, that's just the way down to the start. I'm actually back. Oh, hi there. Hello, jars. Okay. Are you going to explode now? I think they might. I think they have the ability to explode, but have not yet. Because I was killing them too fast, maybe? Maybe. Well, Golden Rune 10, and. Let's. Somewhere a heavy door is opened. Finally, freedom. Okay. Drop down here, and this is. Ah, uh, okay, cool. This is the real elevator. Exciting. Okay. Now we can go up top. All the way back to that grace. Switch out the infusion because I do not have nearly enough stuff to actually take that boss on right now. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. So I want to use flame art on it. With some buffs. That should be good. Should be in a decent position, but actually, hmm. Yeah, the talismans I've got right now are serving me well. Winston Firefly, because it was a magic pot tossing imp. So we go back up and we heal and we pray. Okay. Huh. Honestly, it, as cool as Giant Crusher is, it may not be a great idea to use it, at least while I still have to spend a talisman slot just to equip it, and its equip load is as ridiculous as it is, but I don't know. It, it's fun this way. Yeah. Word of the day. Prayer. Way more. There we go. So let's hope that this works. I should actually reallocate re some flasks, probably. Hmm. Allocate and it's 11 and 3 should be good. But the main thing is, I think I might be better off with. Well, I don't have Lord's Divine Fortification. That would be useful here, but we only have Barrier of Gold and. Very few things deal enough are relevant and deal magic damage, so... Okay, and the fire damage just the damage it deals to the imps a little, but... For the tree spirit, it should be better, I would hope. And can I slam down and crush and... Oh, well, all right. I was not expecting the stance break. And can I... Oh, maybe it was because it was in, in the air. It... Oh, well, it's because it would, would usually be a stance break, but now that it's flame art, it's not a one-hit kill on them anymore. All right. Mm -hmm. So, I know what we need to do now. Answer is... Buff up. Which means we need to switch out our heirloom again. This is... <laughs> Things have gotten a little silly, recently. And then... Pull them out, but first we need to switch this back. So I don't forget inadvertently. Oh, well, I... Okay. Golden Vow, and that was actually long order, because now things will end quicker than I might like, and... There it is! Putrid Tree Spirit. Hello, and rush in, thanks, I... Hey, okay, cool, that was nice. And... Dodge, okay, cool, nice, and now we can... Okay. Thanks, and slam, and another hit, and slam, and another hit, and slam down, and there we go, we got a stance break, and... Absolute domination, oh my goodness. 
it didn't even get to do either of its face transition attacks. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This is a good weapon to use. Okay. So we got a death root in there that I can give to Gronk. Last of them are all in mountaintops. Okay, cool. Let's leave. Oh, uh, things to do in Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs. Number one, leave. Okay. And yeah. We got Gronk over here. Fun stuff. Hello, would you like a death root, my friend? Hungry, are we? I won't forget. Again. My appetite. My sin. I must have. Let's consume more, and we got the Beast Claw Great Hammer. So, striking in, model resemble five beastly claws, just holy damage. Black nails protruding from golden fruits that represent Sarash or the beast who ended up becoming King Godfrey's regent. Go beast claw, hammer to the ground, rending the sun with the armaments, armaments five bestial claws, which simply only deals physical damage. Hmm. Holy on there is interesting, but So we can go over, we can take out Juno Hoslo. Dios' brother, well, Dios himself is also very dead. Happened a short while ago. Put this on and get a colt back. That's a great option. Two-handed and 776 damage. You love to see it, folks. Okay. So, let's get the starlight back on. So what else there is to see around this area, I think. Might be more golems around. We'll see. Come on, come on. Oh, mm -hmm. Let's see how this works. The answer is... Mm -hmm. I don't think I can get up top of this ledge. That said, I don't imagine there would be any much... Any real point to it, so... That's fine. Yeah, I think I can kill Juno Hoslo and then do the little denouma of Volcano Manor, which is actually killing Rykard, and after that, I'm going to that Divine Tower, I suppose. Hmm. I know that there's a reason to leave one of the golems alive and that well they do respawn and that there's one of those breakable statues in here where a big enough enemy will knock stuff down for any of that i just want to see how much damage i can deal with my giant crusher and lion's claw and you've fallen down thank you so try that again one and nice Oh, it's not dead. Now it is. Okay. It... The strength of things in mountaintops is kind of crazy. It's honestly a bit of a step above what was in the mausoleum. But if we continue along this pathway... Well, we have demi-humans up here. That's a bit of a surprise to me. Okay. Let's put on a bit more defense. See how far this will take us. Hello, demi humans. Die. Thanks. And oh, multiple hits required. Okay. Come on. Come on. Continue hitting. Some of you, I believe they built scimitars. And there we go. Yeah, just roar at me and stay still while I kill you. That works more than well enough for me. No, they were Falcons, right? Just like a fire emblem. I didn't say that. Okay. Come on, you miserable fool. 
Let me keep on going. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How then do I make this work? It's some bats over there, which means probably lightning. Oh my goodness. Why are these bats so strong? Okay. And it about the same damage from range, so. Gotta toss another, though, to take them out. And, oh, it's nearly daytime. Hmm. My question is, any chanted winged dames around here? Hmm. And we can continue tossing lightning, because I guess they're stronger than the birds from before. Okay, cool. And, well, you flew up and over my lightning. All right, cool. It, it's kind of crazy how resilient these things are. That one was not resilient. Okay. And, okay. And will that hit? That will barely not connect. I wonder how close I have to be then to make it connect. It's my work and, huh. All right. They're fighting each other. Presumably. So it looks that way. I don't see any of them taking damage, though, is the thing. It might be just for show. And no, they are taking damage. I might have... Maybe I was too far away to actually hit each other. Maybe. Either way, the bats are more annoying, so I'm going to focus on taking them out. I, okay. Oh my goodness. Come on, you. Come on. So an AoE Shriek, okay, come on, take one out before other, please have mercy, and need one more quick hit, there we go, cool, hmm, that shack over there should be, it's the location we're being sent to, Volcano Manor Request, you're no hostile. I hear something weird and frightening, oh, it's because... There are giant skeletons that spawn in. Giant phantom skeletons. That's right. Right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Hmm. String, glass shard, ruined fragment. Lots of, lots of things over here. So we got that bat down. We presumably require some Graybo usage. And, oh, of course you're... What? You came at a weird angle. There we go, okay. And... Interesting. Okay. I... There's another bat up there. I'm gonna take a grave out real quick just to shoot the stupid thing down. Which would be... Golem grave would be best here. Okay. And right, we need to re-equip... Our bone great arrows. And how far up can we aim? Well, this is a little irksome. If we go up over here, I presume we would be able to get the proper angle. Yeah, but the gray bow angles are more than a little limited because of the need to. There we are. Okay, cool. Do a little less damage than I expected, actually. Either way, we hunted our prey successfully. Not that it was... Anything I was in particular need of, but this is the... Oh, Shack of the Lofty. But it doesn't even... It'd be funny if there was a bell-bearing hunter here, but there's not even a grace. So it's really interesting. Traveling Maiden set. That boots traverse the lands between different reasons. Seek audits with the fingers, find the tarnish where they're destined to guide. Traveling Maiden. Is that what Therowina wears? I'm not quite sure. But, this over here is... leads to nothing. What you do get is a nice view of... You can see a bit of the halo tree of Consecrated Snowfield. You see Ordina over there, the big walking mausoleum, and the... minor Erd tree down there, which is rather shriveled. Well, as you might expect from a minor Erd tree in a... Art in an arctic climb. 
It's going to lift over that way. The bridge really is quite long, and on that, oh, interesting. So that's something else. Huh. So then, wondering what I would be able to reach if I went over this way. Is there going to be a side of grace? I, not that I see. Huh. It's back around this way, but I think I will do this after taking down Juno. Juno Hoslow. Which means the best thing to do would be to equip my... Got a few items around here. Smithing Stone 7. This pile with a golem invigorating my cured meat. And... Oh, another demi-human is here. Warming stone. Alright, and... Okay, go ahead. Embrace death. Accept death. Oh. Should be over this way. Yeah, here's our invasion sign. Warrior ahead. Means let's put this back on and we can equip a bit more. Okay. Get that invasion ready, but Golden Vow should come first. Juno Hoslow, Knight of Bod's World. He is over there, which means let's immediately cast that. All right, and ah, uh, Hoslow's oath. All right, fun. And now we can is that cool? And there we go. All right then. And our PvP focused weapon is now well and truly equipped. So we can. Oh my goodness! Of course he's got Bloodhound Staff. If you are a maniac, okay. I dodge. And can I rush in? And mm, we had a bit much. To, Taken. Dodge. One. Uh, do Ooh, okay. Mm, I, all right. It's a bit far away, so. One, two, three. Okay, all right. And can I, ooh, all right. Mm, oh, it's because we. Nice. Mm, even with heavy equipment, we can dodge out of the way pretty capably. And. Sorry, Dios' brother. Now you die too. All right. And that's the end of my Volcano Manor assassinations, which means it's time to actually do the end of Volcano Manor. Which is to say, killing Rykard. So it's Petal Whip, Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Garish Silver Greaves, dedicate with red, decorated with red embellishments, passed down through the Hosler family. And Juno Hosler received an invitation to Volcano Manor. He discreetly refused. I have already walked many a road drenched in blood. Never would I consider myself a champion. Twin-tailed silver helm, decorated with flowery adornments, symbol of the head of the revered House Hoslow. Juno Hoslow had a younger brother, Dialos, who was all talking no trousers, inability to commit to action was such that Juno inherited the Hoslow legacy without resistance, granting him the freedom of Shouter's little brother with adoration. And we already have one of those, actually, because Dialos uses one too, but... I never actually fought Dialos, but I think he only uses one... But Juno clearly wields two in a power stance, which is part of his power stance. Okay, so, go back, use the dual serpent hunters to take down the god devouring serpent. But, interesting, this is another way around, but let me just see what else is here. This is. Can use this to get up over this way, but I am not all that interested in going here at the moment. Hmm. We'll come back here through here when we go up this way anyway, so that's fine. It's more than fine. Drop and wrap back around to that side of grace. We'll be okay. Okay, no matter. Get my final reward, kill the serpent, and yeah, collect a great rune maybe. And other than that, it's then afterwards I'd have the rest of Mount Off. So then, consecrated snowfield, the Haywood tree, and oh, we got that's a merchant over here. Okay, cool, I suppose. 
Oh well. Customer, how long has it been? Hermit merchant, we can get some rune arcs. Sure, I suppose. Missionary's cookbook, rejuvenating bolus is finally it only took that long. Vagabond Night Helm, Vagabond Journey. It's another starting armor set. Broken, no longer wallowed. Be sturdy, damage negation. One dingy, no longer evoking sentiment. Well, it yeah, may as well buy these just for fun. Let's put a collect of them. Okay. Well, alright. Do not even see that guy over there. And in that case, it should still be a golem down there, but it's not really my problem. Is it? Okay. It's back to Volcano Manor, and this is a its a rather small part of the map. But now this isolated divine tower is actually visible, but it's a pretty big landmass, but the part you actually explore is the mountaintops. It's not mountains of the giants, it's mountaintops of the giants. People have made this joke. Okay. In that case, we can... Let's just equip my two serpent hunters right now. Okay. Heavy load. And then, the Dawn's Greaves bring it to medium load. That actually could be a decent... Eh, this will be okay. Check. What are my... We got... Eh, I'll keep them both at seven. Sick of being even. I see that you stayed the path. Yes, I have. This is your usual reward. Please take it. Now this is oh, Taker's cameo. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our Lord? Our Lord will no mm -hmm. doubt welcome you. Another kindred. The idea is that we're going to be food. The path of I don't quite like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. so they would just tell what it's too audience so long. No. Close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's Chamber. Bit of a rustle. Well, then. May your visit be fruitful. Mm. Kind of ominous. So then. Yep, and this is just the audience pathway where we've. We got through here by going to the rest of Volcano Manor, actually, so. Alright, let's talk to the others and then get things started in here. Surprised to see me? They'll welcome you, Path of Champions. Can I make you take the wood? Do you know this? Path of Valor, audience is essential. The basement and rise up against the Urtu, true recusant. A true recusant gets eaten. All right. All right, Raya is over there, and Alexander is still there, okay. Let's chat with the few remaining people before killing things. So alive, and we got everything from him, so until we meet again, just be patches. And after we kill Raya, we'll kill Move. So. Hi, Patches. Matches Emporium, and nothing really. We use this on Margit and Morgoth, to Excellent effect. So let's just go over here and take the guy out. We got a number of very serviceable buffs to apply to ourselves. In that case, let's put on the heirloom to boost my... For blessing, then it's so my golden bow, and let's put this back on. Cool. Oh, but right, we can go in here first. We may as well. And golden bow, flame Grammy strength, and maybe grails. I'm not even sure. I am not sure I'd be able to hit it if I did it like that. So. Hello, God Devouring Serpent. Hi. And that did not even hit it. Alright, okay. And oh, poison. Alright. Fun. I, okay, and oh my. What? Okay. Ah, alright. Did not expect that one. Oh, it didn't do that much damage, actually. 
That's the funny part. Okay, cool. Now we can... And, ooh, alright. It could damage, but... Has some to, some to be desired. One, two, and three. Okay, and yeah, it, the damage is great. Two and three. Oh, but I can get a critical now, can't I? Well, I all right. Whether I can or not, not really a problem. And oh, but I'm knocking against the lob. It's a thing. And there we are, which means time for phase two. Hi. Oh? Yeah. That is not the end of things. Not by a long shot. Now you see the writhing arms of those intended to be consumed. That is the face of Rikard. Starting to lag a bit. What's interesting is the camera angle hides the fact that there is no way for that sword to physically emerge from within the serpent. Hello. So gaba. Ah, <laughs> He's just funny. I can't take this guy seriously. Okay, let's put our buffs back on. Okay. It it's not really friendship in as much as hungry. Power of hungry. I dodge. Oh well. All right. The sword you get from beating him is. Really, really good. And, oh, well, alright. I. Okay. And that's his signature spell. Rykard's Rancor and. Dodge and cut. Oh, that was multiple hits. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're decent. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, big magma cloud. Interesting. Okay, well. We can hit you. Oh, my goodness. You are a lot more durable. Okay. Come on, just two and three and okay, all right. I, okay, dodge. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of fire damage. Okay, can I actually? Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. That's a lot of magma. I really do not like this. Okay. What in the? Okay, heal, heal. And, oh my. What? Oh come on, you. Uh, it's just. A lot of people make jokes about the song Bad to the Bone about this fight. There was a mod that added Bad to the Bone sound effects for every time you don't move damage to Rygard. No, every time you use one of those attacks. Oh, there we go. Cool. So now let's actually just charge up that and can it... Aha! There we go. That's a fun attack. So... Oh my goodness. I, okay, alright. Heal, heal. So, dodge again. Let's get a bit more back on here. This is funky. At least there's less lava now. And luckily we've got range on this guy. Yeah. As long as we're not stupid about this. So, weapon R and blast. And there we have it. Goodbye, rock card. Aha! Uh -huh. Rikard's Great Rune and the Remembrance of the Blasphemous. Alright then. The Eye Surcoat, and that is. And Surcoat draped over Chainmail. On the front, where is the eyes and ears of Kitty and the All-Knowing? 
Taker's Cameo, Riot, Wagner's well, Predator, Riot Guard, Master of Volcano Manor, restores HP upon defeating enemies, turn heresy, taken by force, became the rule. Gods themselves were no different after all. Wood of Benediction, Precipice of Coast, Southwest of Lanedale, Giant Serpent that he might devour, Grown of Eternally, Understand, Road of Blasphemy, as long as perilous, one cannot walk it unprepared to sin. It. Alright then. Pretty big arena. Now that he's dead, the spears have lost their power. But it was a nice weapon to use for that fight, and it was nice to have two of them. The big thing is, the third hit of that three-hit combo was the strongest by far. Card Horde of Blasphemy, and now, let's just go to that tower real quick. Activate that rune real quick. Yeah. And... And there are a couple more things to wrap up, and oh, well, we actually got a good amount of runes. I'm gonna level one time. Put that in. That can go into dexterity, sure. Okay. Alright. It, it's honestly, I was surprised at how much more HP he had compared to phase one. Because this... God Devouring Serpent did not take much to kill, I figured, okay, so... Phase 2 will have about the same amount of HP. And it might damage me decently, but it will, at least won't take long. The big thing was just the lava. Staying away from him was kind of the hard part. But, the skill was pretty nice, but it takes a while. Although, to be fair, so does that combo. It's whatever. Let's go over and... Get that ruin, and Volcano Manor should now be somewhat emptier. Also, also, should be, well, Raya was over there. Actually go. Big thing is most of them should actually be gone now. We can get some more things, but it's interesting that there's a side of grace here too. This is Divine Tower of West Altus for some reason. Let's see. Kaled and Limgrain, which is pretty cool. Let's just take Rykard's Great Rune up. Precipice coast southwest of. Southwest of Landell? Yeah, southwest of Landell. Power of Great Rune, and there we go. Got a bit of fire to it. Nice. That among the stepchildren were known Radagon, became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Merica. Rickard fed himself to the Blasphemous Serpent, Great Rune at all. Has a bit of a scaly appearance, somewhat similar to the appearance of the requisite finger. So they should be gone now. Oh well, alright. Defeated our lord. No. Yet weak, you have taught us that. Defeat now at the end, a mortal will one day rise against stronger. Stay the path and do my part. Hmm. Leave the volcano manor before long. I suggest you do the same I Mrs. Encounters, tainted past shines all the more. An admirer. Farewell, Megan, along the path. Okay. So are the others anywhere in here that we've told her? Oh, well. The ghost who told us to kill Rykard is gone now, and... My thanks! Oh, that's fun. Okay, and from now, kill the Rykard. No ill will song take, such as our code. Prepared to meet a wretched end for second blasphemy unto his merry flesh. Volcano Manor is no more. Yet fulfill an old promise. Took what was theirs. Time's come to rise against the urge ring. Hmm. Hear my voice. My brother's will. Inheritor Who is his brother? You will fall to my blade. Mm -hmm. Who refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. So we'll see him one more time, actually. Oh, great. I am the mm -hmm. Well, not a blade, but he has... He has that club instead. Okay, so there's a little bit more in here. Finish that out. End of this quest line. Hello. Now you've gone and killed Rikard. Yep. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. 
whatever it takes. What's well, nonsensical? Open world after all. Matter is finished. Daddy Ambition, head over heels, quoting witty blasphemy. And tethered once again, goodbye. Quoting donation. Mm. Okay. So when we rest, they should all change location. Patches will go to Shaded Castle. Where he'll find an item for Tanith. Who now is gone. And they're they're all gone. Zarias probably is no longer there either. So somewhere in the shaded castle. Castle and Hall, inner gate. Should be outside the hall. With the dancer's castanets, which we can give to Tanith if we feel like it. I think he's around here. Is that yeah, right here, huh? You again? Had to see me like this. Bit of a slip up stealing. What I know best, to trust you, but a good soul. Tend to get to this. Dancer's castanet. All bent out of shape. My horse read the line. That's mm -hmm. easy. Well, he. He does not actually die there. Suffice it to say. Distant lands, receiving patches, no seductiveness, passion and dance, merely a dignified beauty. Alright, so she will be in. The Rykart Order Blasphemy side of Grace, which is, I suppose, under the lava over here. So we can. Yep, and she's over there eating Rykart's head, as one does. They really match each other's freak. Alright, so... No weapon, only a seal and a... The shield. This Crucible Knight will come after me shortly. Let's put on heavy armor. As heavy as we can get. Okay. And anything else I can do at the moment, I suppose I could make this. Fire and equip. Catch flame in here instead. Yeah, alright. Cool. Hello, Tanith. Take your castanets. You want though. What is it? I have no I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, allow me some our lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear my god, please. So the serpent achieves rebirth after being eaten, presumably. Together. Okay. Alright, well. There's only one thing to do. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's actually a rest then. Tannis Knight will invade me. Kill Tannis Knight after killing Tanith. So. Golden Vow. Plan grab me so we can start things as soon as possible and uh, disappears immediately. Interesting. Tannis Knight will invade. Yep. Right over there. Oh, hello! Hi! How are you doing? Luckily, we can't. Mmm. Okay. Crucible Knight. Okay, hang on. Dodge. It. No. Thanks. Uh, oh, dodge. Okay. I, thanks. I, okay, alright. Mm, interesting. Dodge. Oh, come on. You. I, of course you have Ordovus as Vortex. That's crazy. I, come on. Dodge. Okay. Oh, I... Alright. Thanks. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, I... I don't know what's up with my... Parry timing. Okay. One, two. Okay. Alright. And, got... And... Thank you. Oh, I... Got that wrong. Pretty wrong. Okay. I'm going to wait. I, thanks. I, mm, and cannot. 
Oh, oh okay. Hard. And oh, right, you got Crucible Breath. That's right. Okay. Thanks. Uh, nice. One, two. Dodge. One, two, and thanks. There we go. We're back at it. Okay. And that's all. Tannis Knight has died. Expect the Crucible Breath. Shinra Retreat Incantation, Sword Pouch on the Neck, Steel Fire Breath while Walking, Increases Duration, Primal Vital Energies, Crucible where all life was once blended together. So Patches will go back to his original cave. Oh, and over here we have her outfit. Okay. So it's trousers, then you have a silk robe, white silk went by town with Lady of the Volcano Manor. For set eyes on tent, working as a dancer in a foreign land, soon he made a his concert, only human reign by his side. When he became the serpent of blasphemy in that moment, Tanf was truly charmed by him. Image of a foreign queen increases dexterity. Alright, so. Should be gone. Let's check one more time. Go back to the Murkwater King, where Patches originally was, and we can engage him one last time. Battle. Another fight. Oh, and we can actually wear both of those. Well, I prefer to wear armor that doesn't look stupid. But there is no drops because he's not dead. No bell bearing. Which means back to Murkwater Cave and end of Patches Quest and then we'll check up on Raya briefly, who we'll have left because we didn't kill her or give her the tonic. So now she's just chilling. Let's Memorize Lightning Spear again. This is fine, this is fine. Alright. You are rather durable now. It's nice. Hello, hello. Simple enough. Go go and try tossing your poison rocks, but Oh, so that ah, uh, that bell! I never noticed that bell. That's funny. That's what alerts these guys. Okay, cool. All right, and every single one of these highwaymen who only appear in here. Only ever appear in here, which is kind of crazy, honestly. But, yeah, exactly. If people want to go to the shop. Okay, so. Patches is back, and yep, we're ready. Hello. And we can open his chest again. And another glass shard. Hello. Just like old times. And two, three, and. Wait. Don't tell me. Is that you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Got his crouch. Come on. He just has seen you, reveals that was you, demi human or some such, innocent mistake. Okay. What's well, cracked up to be? Likes a you, shop. Hmm. Well, all right then. I, okay. And the teleport chest isn't even there anymore, so let's run back through, see what he has to sell, and then talk to Raya briefly. Well, see what she leaves behind, because that's all over. Fun sword, but yeah, the Ash of War is not great on things that aren't human build enemies. It's really good against human build enemies. And of course there was another. I have to do that all over again. You've got to be kidding. Come on. Well, again, it simple enough. We can just kill all his friends another time. Okay. So anything to sell? Anything new to sell, that is? Probably not. High patches. Made it just in time. Grand reopening. Everything is top notch. And there is nothing new. Okay. I still can appear in Dairon to bought those, but it's 
All right, cool. Last thing would be Rise location, but it we got a good amount of stuff done. I satisfied with our performance today. Do Limgrave a good deal of mountaintops and well, the first little bit of mountaintops. Also subterranean shunning grounds. There's also frenzied flame prescription. We'll go back. There's no boss there, so go to the right. The manor, the best place would be the temple. Go to Zoriance's old location, see the letter she leaves behind, and that'll be all for today. So next time will be mountaintops and a good deal of the snowfield, and then after that I think I could do the Haywood tree and then Farmazula. This should be over in two or three more two or three more sessions. Yeah. Then it would be a DLC. We'll see. The DLC is about half as long to two thirds as long as the base game. People have generally said. So, see how that goes. And, come up. Thanks, and, oh, all right. I could stab you, I guess. Uh, we can do a bit of testing here, but okay, right, Rai is around this area, so dodge and cannot move in it. Oh my goodness, all right, and cannot stab it. Oh my, right, what up? I may be stupid. That was a really stupid death. Okay, here's your treat for today. I didn't even need to kill that thing. All right, at least we have. Five billion runards. Okay. Oh, it. It really is just. Now, tops of the giants, consecrated snowfield. And that, altogether, is not a huge area. It's. About. I would say about the size of Wingrave, with. Well, to be fair, I would say that Halo Tree... Halo Tree is basically two legacy dungeons, because it's got... Elfail, the Brace of the Halo Tree, and then the Halo Tree itself. So it's a whole thing. So I... Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, you. And can I dodge? Can I, oh, I can... Okay. Come on, and dodge, dodge. That was good damage. Damage is good. Okay. Then, yeah, this is going to be order of business final. And can I dodge? Okay, all right. Hmm. Go ahead, continue your ridiculous dance. One, two, three, and, well, okay. We go out and around, I will be in that little hidey hole where she used to be. Well, she won't be, but stuff will be there and we can pick up what she left behind which is well actually hi I'm not kind of uncompromising don't give it In my heart of hearts kind of uncompromising you always were okay which means actually we need to refresh the area to make her leave her oh leave her wetter behind but that will be not hard as long as I don't act like an idiot again. How many seedbed curses do I have? I have four of them, and yeah, and I believe you need it's either five or six. The big thing is that you cannot get enough for dung ending without going into the halo tree, because there are two seedbed curses there. The big thing is is that. There is exactly one more than you need, but only if you let Boggart die to the Dung Eater. Because that moves him to... That produces another Seabed Curse, which is missable. Okay. Oh well. And that should be... Yep, she's left behind her letter. Zermias' letter and Datacar as well. Alright. 
So, Data Car, presumably her mother, a woman whose skin is flayed, smells of the serene tenderness, increases damage taken. This woman named Data Car indulged in every form of adultery and wicked pleasure imaginable, giving birth to a myriad of grotesque children. Written in inexpert hand, wish set out on a journey, so that one day I can carry on mother's work and be the proud daughter of Tanith at Volcano Manor. For well, you've always been so kind, so uncompromising, my champion. Alright. So, the next thing to do then would be to head over to mountaintops again and keep poking around it probably kill fire giant and then go to the snowfield that sounds good to me so we are very close to the end of things it's exciting after a very very completionist run there is a, there were a great many things that i did not see playing through the first time that i've seen this time around so it's been a lot of fun this goes up way high, yeah. So that, presumably, this might be the halo tree. Alright then. So I will close things down and be seeing you later. Sayonara again.